Are we live? <laughs> I don't know. What? Are we live? I, I think we probably are now. And we are live, and we are back for uh, even more ridiculous predictions. I say ridiculous, even though I actually looked at last year's tier list. It wasn't that terrible. There were some ones that were a little bit suspect for picks, but uh, overall, not that terrible. But we we're are back. good at this. Yeah, we're nailing this. Yeah. Word is doing... I mean, go ahead, Corn. You have the actual tier list, wow. so why don't you just show it? Show it on screen what we're doing here. I don't have control over who sees what, but Stan, <laughs> if you'd like to show it, I can definitely also true talk about it. But it's uh, yeah, we've, we've as per usual, we have a bunch of random uh, categories that <laughs> we are trying to fit these teams into. Cup favorites, just so the rules. Obviously, if you haven't watched one of these before, we only ever put one team in cup favorites. That's just, I don't know, it feels like there's some separation there. There's going to be one team that we're going to put above the rest. We're going to have some arguments about that. There's going to be votes, things like that. Uh, basically, next you've got the cream of the crop. That's your teams that are kind of just in contention with that cup favorite team. Obviously, there's so much parity in the NHL that it's pretty hard to get clear cut defined teams that only fit into one of these categories it's gonna be very opinionated so i'm sure we're gonna have lots of arguments about it there's playoffs likely that's probably probably gonna be the less contentious one where people are just kind of uh, yeah they're pretty good teams they're probably gonna make it i doubt they're gonna go far in the playoffs but like we'll see them there you think of like uh like what mm, Oh, well, I'm not going to – no spoil. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Jets uh, are playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I feel like they should oh, yeah, fall in that eh? category. Likely. Eh? I'll decide. Wow. <laughs> uh, then <laughs> wild card decide. fight, pretty self-explanatory. I think that's the more, like, borderline teams. They're, they could get in, could be out. Pretty 50-50 coin flip there. Uh, bad but not bad enough, as in that's probably the worst place you could ever be a fan of a team because – you get know, nothing out of that. Yeah, you're not making the playoffs. You're not going to get that first overall pick unless you have some crazy stroke of luck. <laughs> Blackhawks. But uh, the uh, – and then the first overall favorites, which I think I, – I personally think there's two clear teams in that one. <laughs> but uh, I guess we're going to find out. We've got – you can see the teams there listed at the bottom. That is the order that we're going to go in. And it, uh, it, we kind of just rotate person to person. Uh, we also do have uh, – Something that we've wanted for a long time in this show. <laughs> since since we started with this room, we started talking about interviewing uh, an NHL player in here. And we thought, it's not shares. Where would they sit? There's literally no <laughs> Table's space. only big enough for four people. It's so and tight. Who needs an NHL player when you have the Zegris zone? Thomas Bach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got my book here. I'm going to keep track of all the nonsense that you guys are saying today. I'm writing it down, and I'm challenging you guys with it. So, What is this, like PTI? You're gonna, yeah. You're going to track Tony all our reality. mistakes, too? Yeah. yeah. So you better be sharp, Jesse. Okay? But I'm always sharp. Why, okay. why, why, even, why even ask? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But yeah, the Zeker Zone. I'll scrap you in the Zeker Zone right now. <laughs> Please don't get out of your chair. I'll scrap you. I'll see you. Buddy, Wait, yeah. come here anytime Jesse, you want. Is Jesse suggesting the Zeger Zone is the crease where people just pummel Trevor oh, Zeger and yes. his teammates? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, with that said, I don't know what the order that we're doing this in. Is. You do. You got it right in front of you. No, no, I don't know who oh, the is assigned to what team. Well, Luke is going to start us off. You, you, wow. can probably, you can probably guess who is. Yeah, you can probably guess who got that one. We got our favorite teams. The Zeal do Buffalo, Corwin, Toronto, and Jesse yeah? Winnipeg. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Fire me up. So, teams. I mean, let's, let's just start with the Colorado Avalanche. You guys are probably thinking I'm going to put them in Stanley Cup favorites. I, I think I, they, I, I, yeah, I mean, wild card. I, mean, I think like, you should. Yeah, we've got well, a good shot at a wild something card. Something wrong with we've that? We've got a good shot yeah. at a wild card spot. Playoffs, probably likely. I'm going to put them <laughs> wild in wild card. <laughs> probably likely. I'm going to put them in cream of the crop to start because I don't want to be the homer. Oh, wow, I don't want to wow. be the homer that puts them in cup favorites. Like, I have my argument for why they should be cup favorites. I think they've got the best decor in the league. 
Um, their this depth is chili. Stick them in there. No, no, no. Stick it also, in there. I also None think... of us are putting them up there for it. I no. would have put them no, in cup a... favorites and it makes you feel That's better. okay then. Because I, I genuinely want to want to see what other team because I feel like I've put them in every time we've done this tier list. I want to I want to see what other you team know what? what is this guy doing? Jonathan Just... Druin. <laughs> what, am I, what am I doing, Jonathan? Yeah, Jonathan. I will say this. Give this guy the Lady Bing. No, just I will, give it to him already. <laughs> I will say this. The depth is definitely questionable, and that's the thing that kind of plummeted them last year in the playoffs where it was McKinnon, it was Rantanen, and around them without Landeskog. Like, they were pretty, pretty weak in the depth department. So you don't believe Drew in Jonathan Drew? I believe in him, but, like, is there reason to believe in him? What about... Not really. What, Johansson what? is solid. I like him. I like Ross Colton. I like Miles. Yeah. Wood. Like, I think their depth yeah. is in a better spot than it was last year, but I want to see how all the pieces fit. I want to give the Avs the benefit of the doubt that they know what pieces will fit into this roster, and I have no doubts that they'll be one of the cup favorites, probably a Final Four team. But there are a few teams I actually really like this year as well for so cup you, favorite. So you genuinely already have a team in mind for like I cup do. favorite? Like, There's okay. one team that... You're being honest. I looked at the rosters, looked at Daily Faceoff, and I'm just like, wow, this team top to bottom, I love their lineup. I love it a little more than Colorado without Landis Cog. And I think Landis Cog is the, kind of the key piece. So if they do something at the trade deadline, this could obviously um change in my mind but i want to see it a little bit from them i think i know what lucas is i just i have my own guess and my guess is that it's an eastern conference team this is my guess am he I is right? a big he eastern, is a big it's not an eastern conference team. Wow. he is a big rangers guy all right I mean, then. <laughs> it's not no it's not the no no it's <laughs> not the <laughs> okay. i don't know but what do you guys think i mean i, I, know. I don't know we'll keep we'll keep the team where it is i think there's no doubt they're in the cream of the crop yeah i think there's i think no the doubt. only yeah. i think the only reason to feel encouraged about drew and obviously is because of what him McKinnon. And McKinnon did together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that that could be I mean, anyone playing with McKinnon is like a huge Honestly, That's crazy but, to yeah. think of them in the same age group for some reason to me. I don't know why. Like I just don't like just because obviously their careers are just gone in such mm-hmm. Jonathan Druin's a perennial young guy. Yeah, no, <laughs> legit. Oh, like I just think of him as Perma Young. I yeah. think he's gonna do really well, but I mean, we have no track record of him doing well in the NHL to prove that, <laughs> that he's going to do so, well in the NHL. The way you said it just feels so harsh. I don't know why. <laughs> it, it, it's very harsh, but, like, it's true. It feel, feels like I've heard that when I was in school. It's no, You've shown no track record or something. <laughs> you need to see it sometimes, and I need to see it from him. Yeah. Tough. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, uh, so I'm next? I guess. Do you have, do you have Minnesota? Yeah, I got Cold Minnesota. Like Minnesota. Wow. And, uh, I got to say. Sometimes I like Minnesota. Now it's not one of those times. <laughs> yeah, that was saying. I, mean, I was love one. Kaprizov. I think he's unbelievable. But, like, I think for them to be, like, I, there's, there's two categories I'm putting them in. Kind of like, like it's in between that almost. And uh, I'm going to put them in wild card fight. Ooh. Because... Okay. I just think they need a pretty massive step forward from either Marco Rossi or, uh, like, even Matthew Boldy, where, like, I think you he almost... He was great last year, man. Yeah, but I think you need more from him, even. Like, they, they just did not get enough from beyond Kaprizov and that 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 line, obviously, the Zuccarello and Hartman. Like, it, it just... I don't know. I don't think it's enough. And Jared Spurgeon starting the year, like, week-to-week injury. They've got... No like, Dumba as well. Well, yeah. I think a lot of it is going to rely on their goaltending. I think Gustafson, if he can be as good as he was last year, this should be a playoff team. Yeah, I, I just... I he went through, I picked my playoff teams. Year. I just think the one thing is that, like, the Pacific has so many ridiculously good teams that I think by the end of this, you, we're going to, like... It's one of those things where I actually saw a really funny comment on the last the top 25 players video we did where, you, where a guy was like, I swear to God, there are at least 15 players in the top 10 in the NHL. Yeah. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, it's one it of those a great things comment. where, cause you like, there's so many, I actually think mm-hmm. we we're talking about league parody. There's so many good teams. And like, there's so many teams that I think of as like, Oh, maybe they sneak in. And then I write out my playoffs and I'm like, no. The just, only they, I don't yeah. think they make it. Obviously, I just, I a wild like card fight. I think they they can get it. The in only reason sure. I think playoffs likely is because I think you mentioned the Pacific is really good. Central's I think the not. Central's not as good, so yeah. I think they're like kind of a shoe in for a top three Central spot. Interesting. So you so okay, but you said you said you were gonna have Jets playoff likely. If they're playoff likely, we'll see. So are you having Minnesota over? The Avs, just, stars just let or me Jets? let me get to the Jets. Just let me talk. Get to the Jets. I'm just. Saying, I would. I Avs, would move. Avs, stars, Jets. I have over them. 
I don't have the Jets over them. So I'd, I'd probably swap Jets and Minnesota if we were to do it. But I'm okay with leaving them here for now. If if I think St. Louis is another team that could bounce back this year. Hey, well, well, we'll get to We'll get to them. Okay, so we'll get yeah. to them. So let's go let's with Winnipeg. Let's, 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 let's Look, leave Minnesota there then. I, I wow, just, I just, I'm going to be very honest as a Jets fan. First of all, I want to give kudos to the Jets for... Wait, res- wait, actually, I want to say one other thing about uh, Minnesota. It is Brock Faber... If, if he makes a team, that's kind of fun. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that is like a fun thing. And a full season of Marco Ross. I was gonna say Marco Ross. Yeah, yeah. Get finally, yeah. I actually like Minnesota this year. I, I, if anything, I think they might. I don't know. Are you I keeping just, them where they are in this list, though? What? Are you, are you no, I, I would put them to playoffs likely. And okay. if I'm gonna be honest. First of all, I gotta just give props to the Jets for re-signing Shifley and Hellebuck. <laughs> and look, other than a couple players who have left, like Line, obviously left. For the mo- for the most part, the Jets have done. Considering everyone chirps Winnipeg, they've done a pretty <laughs> unbelievable job at retaining players. I'm serious. You look yeah, at Nickel. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat the whole time there. We have Lowry. Like, all these guys who the Jets draft just end up staying, which is an amazing thing. It says a lot about the organization, the city, the people who live there. We may not get free agents, but <coughs> damn it. Guy's choking on his <laughs> love for Winnipeg. Uh, <laughs> Winnipeg! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. Insane. But but if if I'm going to be honest, I'm not saying that they're not going to make the playoffs, but we're probably in that wild card fight uh, section. Um, I again, like there's, I there are a lot of pieces that I like on the Jets. I think there's some question marks. We need guys to take steps forward. Like I think Cole Perfetti just has to stay healthy and have a good year this year. Tough to say, like. He needs to stay healthy. No one wants to get injured. But if he can stay healthy, I think he's going to be... You mean need more in a way of, like, we need if pl- the Jets want to do this. If the Jets want to take the next step, we're going to need a lot out of out of Perfetti. Like, that's just bottom line. I think Velarde is going to be great. Yeah. And, and and I really... I don't know. Like, I think the Jets are really... in. The, we're headed in the right direction. I don't know if this is necessarily the year where I'm just, like, feeling confident that we're going to make a deep run. But still, I think that we're going to be in that wild card fight for sure. I do think though that Minnesota is probably a tier above them. Hmm. Interesting. I actually I'd think agree I, with that. I think they're very similar. I I would have them as they're not far off. Yeah, they're not that far off. All right, I guess I'm Blues. Blues feel like super middle of the road, where it's like obviously last year they didn't make the playoffs, and the year before the expectations would have been higher. And again, I know in the preseason everyone's like super hyped on their top line, and it is a nasty first line. It's genuinely but, like one of the best in hockey. It's, oh man, yeah, it's a gross yeah. first line. Yeah, most into Cairo. But again, like they lost two of their best players in in at the deadline. They didn't replace them because like it's been pretty quiet in free agency. I don't think that they're going to be horrible, but like. And they're above that middle ground of they're definitely not going to be fighting for picks or even considering anything like that. But I don't know. I feel like it's a wild card. I feel like, it, like they could do better than that. It wouldn't totally shock me, but it wouldn't shock me if they missed the playoffs either. So I just feel like a wild card just feels like fair as an initial assessment heading into the year. I'd go, I'd, I'd go a tier lower. Yes. Go yeah. lower. Go tier I was lower. tempted until, no. like, again, that first just, line no. is there, nasty. No, no. I've never been a big believer in, in Bennington as, as your goalie, and, like, the decor is just continuing to That's age and continuing to just have some bad contracts on it like they they've, i'm sure they want to get out of the crew contract just they try the they, they, <laughs> they try they try they, they them, it's, it's weird like the, yeah, yeah i was gonna say there's guys on on going. their decor yeah. that like were thought of so highly at one time yeah, yeah. Just, like, like Pareko was like a team canada lock at yeah. some point yeah. in his career and it's just never panned out to that but it fluctuates too because even like robert thomas like i feel like people were super high on him and it's like people are still good but still like a little bit level below what you would maybe would have thought he is so i don't know they could they're weird they're one of those teams where like they could totally just bounce back and make us all look super stupid or, I don't know. Again, I think it's wild cards. Ky- Kyrou is going to be outstanding this year. I think definitely the main issue is, is the, the, yeah, you don't know what you're getting with Bennington, but I think that that blue line is just, like, nothing to write home about. Yeah. I'd vote to move him down. This I is what, what, like, out of the, But you down. know what? You know what? I, okay, I, personally, I would leave them in the wild card fight because I think that, like, they have just as good a chance as realistically making the playoffs as the Jets. I just, but but I, I do think, I do think, though, that this team up front is actually deeper than people might be giving them credit for, like, Remember when they signed Vrana? Like, Vrana's a guy who could just, like, yeah. be very good this year. ESPN Fantasy was super high on him. Man, <laughs> how he's, weird that he's was. They had, him like, they had him for, like, 30 goals. Dude, they also, <laughs> they also, they also have Kevin Hayes, who's, like, yeah. who's like yeah, a good, yeah. good, good, good. 
as your third line center potentially and like, on the power play and, and, and a penalty be killer great. and a penalty killer like so you've you talked into just keeping them where they are i no i personally would keep them where they are but if you guys want to switch it then like my it's, it's my thing with that is uh, like we talked before about this that like part of the thing you want to avoid and when you're kind of like ranking teams like this is having half the league in wild card fight because yeah. Like, yeah yeah you, you could say that but like then we're really not going out on a limb for anything that's fair here. that's if fair it's a team that we're and again obviously we can make adjustments at the end but personally I, yeah i would it in terms of trying to create some separation between some of these teams because if i'm being honest i don't think they're as good as the jets or the wild i agree with that okay well maybe you guys vote them down and like i yeah, don't know i wouldn't yeah, we'll see. And uh, by the way, just before we move on to the next team, I just say this is live. So yes, and we are reading some of your comments. Is it, is it your decision though? If it's a tie? No, I think it's it's a vote. No. If, well, if it's two two, oh, if it's a tie. Yeah. But we have a fifth person in here in the Zegers zone. Oh that man, we got Zegers zone. We this Zegers yeah. zone. This right could in. be the deciding I, vote. I am the deciding vote. Wow, here we go. <laughs> wow. And this I'm already crazy. like, I got notes and notes over here. Like what? I'm. <laughs> <laughs> We've we've been here for like ten minutes and he has like sixty pages. Well, yeah, no, you're gonna need another notebook. And I'm I'm already tired of standing. So like, <laughs> this is. So where are the blues going? Yeah, where are the blues going? He's putting them down. <sighs> He's going. Like I, I'm kind of into what Jesse's saying. I think they're they're deep up front. I'm not a big Bennington guy either, though. I agree with you, Lucas. So. I think in the spirit of like having some separation, we're moving them down. Wow, yeah. there it is. Yeah. Moving right. them down. Respect, right. respect, respect the zero. Uh, and thank you for all the love of the goat head jersey. Woo! <laughs> Take that. Oh, in the thing. Yeah. yeah. Nice. This guy just repping the state of New York. I know. I didn't really think about that. And then, when I was in the washroom, just washing my hands in the mirror, I was like, "That's a, uh, it's a little much." Wow. <laughs> Anyways. Kind of Welcome awesome. to Western New York. <laughs> What's that commercial? Ever? Yeah. It's like what Pete? was that? No, because like, we, we yeah, get a lot of Western the... New York commercials up here. Yeah. Um, there's like the one channel that's like the Buffalo channel, and that's what commercial on it all the time. I don't know what that was, yeah. but hey. Hey, if people are from Buffalo, let me know. <laughs> Welcome to Arizona. That's me, Arizona. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to be bold with the Coyotes, but I don't know if I want to take that next step because I'm looking at where the Wild and the Jets are, and I'm like, the Coyotes definitely aren't up there. They're a very fun team. Um, 21 of their 28 wins last year were at Mullet. Kind of a fortress. 21. That's of their crazy. 20, only seven road wins, which really is not good. So they uh, <laughs> they need to improve but, in that but area. But also, it's something where like we're saying 21 wins, which is like, pretty much 500 no yeah, but just, basically, but like, for sure basically yeah. 500 yeah, at but, home. but still like, oh, um, they're a bad team at home and a horrendous this team <laughs> on the road well, right you're right it is more of a road note 15 and i think they had five or yeah. six overtime losses no, so like I'm, not bad. I'm saying that while also thinking i love them this season. oh i love them they're too and like forward. i really want to put them in wild card fight but i i don't think i can i think like this this is the perfect fun but but not good category <laughs> yeah. last year. Yeah, so okay, well. Bad but not good enough. But like I think everyone's really excited to see Logan Cooley, Barrett Hayden, Clayton Keller. I just want to watch their power play. They, like, they, they, also so added, like, they also added like Dumba. Yeah, a lot Zucker, of good veterans. Dursey, Kerfoot, yeah, Dursey. Dursey. Yeah. I think Dursey will probably yeah. play their top power play yeah. unit, which like top power play of Keller, Cooley, uh, I like I don't know. Schmaltz is really but, underrated. Yeah, oh yeah, Schmaltz. Hey, yeah. what about really yeah, underrated? Velamaki was pretty good at the end of last year. I he still think really yeah. I think good Dursey down the stretch. Will be their, their guy on D though. Mm -hmm. but I think Velamaki was like they've got Moser. Be, he wasn't that far off of like a close to a point per game guy towards the end of the season. They've got Moser and Soderstrom on the back end as well. A couple young like highly drafted guys that they're looking to get some more out of they too. Need so yeah, they need I, to I just I can't I can't with how good the Pacific is just put them in wild card fight because i don't think they're quite there yet but i wouldn't be surprised if they end up there this year in a wild card fight a lot I, I also don't know if i would put them ahead of the blues personally no i but don't think I'm putting, but they're not a first overall favorite i think they're no, no, they're still on not. that tier definitely not there's also I, a lot really of people won't. in the comments going for cooley rookie of the years which we'll have our awards at the yeah, end we'll, we'll pick some i might be with awards, them yeah, well, i might maybe, be with them maybe. We'll do, we're doing awards at the end that goal he scored in australia was i wish it was a regular season goal because i feel like we're just not going to talk about it enough that was one of the most disgusting goals i've ever seen wow yeah all right big year for the minnesota golden gophers <laughs> who's the next team uh not big enough though man no, no, I just mean this uh, year in the NHL because, uh, like, with what Faber, no, Nyes, know. and him. Mm -hmm. I know, but Quinnipiac. Yeah. <laughs> Sam <laughs> Lipkin, what a pass. Just had to rub that for the national there. championship. <laughs> 
That game, uh, that game, like college hockey is so electric, and that game was nuts. Yeah, I feel like college hockey is getting better and better. Like, it's, oh my it's, god, it's, man! Like, I, I feel like I'm gonna tune in way more this year because, like, oh yeah, like even like Max Celebrini going there and stuff. Like, it's like. I don't know. That's and and Iserman uh, committing to their next year. How insane is that? Yeah, but I was also. Why can't he go there this year? I would love if. Like I don't know what. I guess he's probably. I don't think he's old enough. I don't think he's old enough. I know, but he's same, same age group, right? Like that'll. Yeah. So it just sucks that they can't play like Mm -hmm. now. It'd be sick. Anyways, are you Chicago? Chicago. uh, I'm gonna be quick with this one. Easy. It's Bedard. They're bad, but not bad enough. I don't think, like, I actually, funny enough, we even saw last night, like, I actually think they'll get some wins. And, like, there's, mm-hmm. like, I don't know. I don't I don't think they're the worst team in the league by any means. And they, uh, I think they will scrape together some wins. They're not going to get a top pick again, unless, obviously, <laughs> they uh, just fluke into yeah. it. But uh, I just, yeah, the, like, you can't say enough about Bedard, but kind of everyone already has so i'm not gonna go on about it well i have korshinsky let's go I, I, oh i, I love korshinsky. i just think though how, I, how funny was that face off by the way because he was yeah. like it was a really nice moment he was just like well the nhl i was like yeah 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 and he was so clearly nervous at the point he's like i am trying to be dialed in right <laughs> yeah. now dude i'm about to take on sydney crosby uh, also, in the biggest moment of my life so far I, he, he also, lost yeah, it so, so clean, clean. <laughs> yeah it was like it was, it was the, the easiest face off of crosby's yeah. life yeah. he was like i'm locked he said that in the interview after like he i just lost it so yeah. brutally like, <laughs> yeah he's so he also like bedard already one of the funniest players in the league the composure his so comedic funny. composure even just uh interview composure just to be like oh thanks in that moment versus like yeah yeah cool dude like <laughs> I, I, I just hype it just back to bedard <laughs> i think like and it is worth mentioning when you have a player like that on your team you could really dirt he's just gonna win you some games that's the bottom yeah. line yeah I think. Mm-hmm. all right so we keep them where they are then yeah they're, they're still by the way, definitely a bad team. Not, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not good. Okay, uh, I'm. I, it's my turn with with Nashville. <laughs> I honestly like don't really get the Predators right like the, now. Like the hype or any of what they're no, doing. No, I like what they're doing. I agree. Like, like I, I, I just they just seem like they're in this <laughs> stage where they want to still kind of be competitive, but they have like some good young players coming up. Like Evangelista, oh, sick. Yeah. Tomasino. Uh, Tomasino's great. Um, and they they even have Winnipeg legend Cody Glass, who's who picked it up for them last year. Uh, but then, like, they go out and they get O'Reilly, which I don't really understand. I feel like they still have, like, some oldish players on their team. They still have, like, Forsberg signed for a boatload of years, who I, who I think is great. And they have sorrows. Like, they have some pieces to be good, but they're also just, like, I feel like they're they're not accepting that they need to move on to the next chapter as well. So, I just don't, especially compared to the other teams, like, maybe they'll be fighting for a wild card spot. Like, I feel like they kind of fall in a just... Uh, just bad, but not bad enough. And between the wild card fight, um, I can't really say that I think that. I mean, Soros is kind of a reason to think that they'd be better than the Blues, but I don't like their roster. That eh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Wild they're a tough team. I, no, I I think they're bad, pretty but, similar to the Blues. I, I think, think so like too. Exactly what you're like saying. like bad, but not bad enough. Maybe, yeah. but like if someone wanted to stick them in the wild card fight, I'd understand because I feel like Nashville is going to be one of those teams that like either is just going to make the wild card or they're just going to miss. I'm with right. I, so my right. definition. I, I, I guess wild card fight, but oh, <laughs> but let, let, let's you bad, but not bad enough. Okay, I'm I'm good with that. I put them next to the Blues because I was like, you know, they deserve to be right there. I yeah. put them at the top yeah. of bat, but not bad enough. And like I, I like as much as I hate to say it, I feel like the Jets could also be almost be categorized in that Preds Blues category. But hey, no, you guys want to leave them up. I think they have a better roster. Yeah, I think they have a better roster. I think they have a better roster. And then Hellebuck is, like, I think pretty equivalent to Soros. So, mm-hmm. like, and I think the Jets decor is solid. I, like, again. The Jets decor is okay. It's solid. I, I, it, I think, it, like, it, it, the, it's not, it's the good top end for... of Nashville's is better than the Jets. But yeah. I think that Jets have better depth. Yeah. I mean, we don't, we, we definitely, I mean, Morris, he's incredible. But Yoshi's, like. Yoshi's Yoshi, you know? Yeah. We know you were high up on him. I love him. Our top 25. He's an absolute stud. Here we go, Z. Okay. um, This is all about... This is all about... Yeah, I have the Dallas Stars, and this is all about, as you guys said, just go for it. Just put them in a category you think that they belong in, and this is for fun anyways. 
I'm going to do what I think Luca probably should have done. I'm putting them cup favorites. That's the one I was going to put putting them cup, cup favorites, favorites yeah. too. Because if you have three guys who would all argue they're top five in the league in their position, you have a, a first line that's as good as theirs. And again, goalies, 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 like a dude you can just depend on. I'm putting them. And they made it to the conference finals anyways. Like, I, it's not even like, I'm sure there are a lot of people's pick to be like in and around that. So this is not like this is some hot take, but I'm planting them there right now. We got, who, who we got someone saying? that stood up in the Z. I'm saying zone, Robert. I'm saying Robertson, Heinz, Heiskinen, and, and I'm saying Ottinger. Oh yeah, the three of them. And then they also have like hints. Yeah, Pavelski, exactly. exactly. Like but, and yeah. then that's just to speak just to the top five. Going out and getting Matthew Shane. This off exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. He does not have to be your number one center. He's on your second line with Tyler Sagan. Yeah. You've got Jamie Ben still. You've got so many good young players Jamie mixed had in. Such a good year. So Underrated, like, and now he just. He just has all the pressure off of him having to be like Wyatt a Johnson. contributor. Why yeah. Johnson? It's like, I think he's got some so many good idea, guys. But, but he'll, he'll, he'll be back. We have a... Uh... All right. One one division down. Kind of like the Zika. <laughs> <laughs> <Zika's laughs> That's the end of the division. That chimed in so quick. Oh, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, in. I thought no there was a stat correction. <laughs> That's why. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, pretty quick to get up over there. I, I was uh, I was checking in on on some of the stats that you guys are saying. Pretty impressed by Luca. That that Arizona one checks out. Your oh, your out. Valimaki one point per game. No, in the last close, in, the, close, in, the, in, the, in the no, final no, no, no. stretch. You know what? Fourteen points in his last twenty two. I'll give you that too. Okay, that's, that's not, not close. So <laughs> no, 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 no. That's kind of. <laughs> it's not. It's not that. I, I think. Off. I think because he said you know sort of close to a point per game breakout young player. Okay. I'll, I'll give him that. Fourteen yeah. points in okay. twenty games for defenseman I'll in Arizona. That. that is good. He had three games with three points though. Kind of. Kind of bring oh, it. Yeah, okay. that's a lead. But yeah, I know he's still <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I just did. Yeah. You want? He might also be doing some power play time over there. Yeah, so, solid take. And honestly, most of the takes I'm, and this is kind of might defeat the purpose of the Zeker zone. I'm, I'm agreeing with kinda, a lot yeah, of okay. what There's you guys are that. saying, but I will say this. First, we'll start off with the Colorado Avalanche because they were the first team. Jonathan Drouin. Okay, I'm, I'm as a Montreal Canadiens fan, I've watched a ton of Jonathan Drouin. I know he hasn't scored double-digit goals since I was in high school. If you guys want a stat for that, yo. So I Puck, don't know. You're, Puck, you're like yep. you're like twenty. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? 21. I'm 21. But still, but still, that's, that's, that's still yeah, like yeah, five yeah, years ago. Five years? <laughs> five years ago. I guess so. I guess. Okay, that's a long time. Five years ago? Yeah, yeah. 20, 20, I was 18 2019. in high school. That's like three years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So but, wait, but also, also you, you can't really hate on him for that because like your team was terrible. Okay, but he was one of the guys yeah. that was supposed to make us good, and he never hey, but he performed. I didn't have to be that in, in he Colorado. Doesn't. But I also said that I don't know if he's good. So No, no, no. You know what? I'm, I'm intrigued by him. I'm not going to sit here and say, like, you're I crazy for believing him. I guarantee that Jonathan Drouin scores more than 10 goals. I think so, too. I think so, too. I think so too. With his I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, he literally he has healthy. nothing Z to... Zegris, by the way, I think you got you got a minute on the clock to get all your shots. Okay, fired. okay, that's fair. <laughs> I, I just want to say one thing: I'm way more into the Minnesota Wild than all of you. I think they're oh, a very up. good team. They I got great too. goaltending. They got a ton of depth going forward. The decor I'm a little concerned about, but I just find Minnesota's like always a gritty team that plays tough hockey, and they're gonna be competing in the playoffs. I, I agree completely, but right. that's why I like play, I think playoffs likely would be totally okay for the Wild. I, think so too. I don't know if I'm gonna call them crumb of the crop, like. You got to be careful. <laughs> I hope why you don't call, just call it like that. Yeah. Crumb, crumb of the crumb of the crumb of the crumb of the crumb. That's what we have the bad teams. That's yeah. the crumbs. They're not. They're not the crumbs, crumbs of the crumb. The they're crumbs. not the soup de jour, but like you know, they're like a little under that. They're on the menu. All right, let's move the next. Yeah. Uh, let's move I'm the changing next the Thank category you. names. Soup Playoff de jour. likely is now crumbs of the crumb. <laughs> yeah. I said crumb of the crumb. Wait, do you no, guys in crumb? Are you guys in on Dallas, like being cup favorites? No. Okay. Yeah. I, look, First I don't. Step. I actually, I don't. I don't disagree. Like, I think it's totally reasonable that you did that. Personally, I would have stuck Colorado in above them. But I think that, like, you want to do Dallas. I. I. Because they can get. Listen, I, they can get I, supplanted I in there. Like, but I think right yeah, now, I don't, I don't care. I'll it belongs them. in that spot. I think of what we. They're have. a well-rounded yeah. team. Like, I did have them strong finishing, everywhere. I had them finishing above the Avs too. Because okay. I do yeah. think. I think. They are less susceptible to injuries, if that makes sense. I agree like, with that. They, guys, can, they can withstand any kind of injury yeah. because of the depth of that team. They're exactly. so good. Whereas, like, you guys lose, again, it, like you always seem to. Every like, year. McKinnon or McCarr or Rantanen Rantanen. or something for a bit. Like, it, yeah. it hurts you quite a bit. Yeah, but. and we did win the Central, like, with the injuries last year. But at the same time, like, I think just Dallas got better this offseason when they were already really good and made it to the conference finals. Yeah. All right. I think I, Colorado, I think Colorado got better too, though, man. I think, I think they did. I too. think signing Wood, Colton, and and getting Johansson, like 
Oh man, that I is think a they're lot definitely of, a better than last year. But I'm, I would move Dallas down for sure. I just I don't really care because I'm I'm gonna suggest someone else. Yeah, let's, say, let's move on to the next division, anyways. Count. And if they move, they move. Okay. Oilers, right. moving on. Oilers. Okay, wow, we're starting the Pacific. They, I, I don't know how much time I want to spend on it because I feel like it's the same thing I talk about with the Oilers every year. They're cream of the crop. I don't think they're a Stanley Cup favorite. Only real addition they made this year was adding Connor Brown. Um, defense is a huge question mark. Goalie is a huge question mark. In 16 of their 28 playoff games, they allowed four more goals last year. That is horrendous. You will not win a Stanley Cup by winning shootout games every single game in the playoffs. Just won't happen. It's not sustainable. Only two forwards scored more than three playoff goals last year. McDavid and Dreisaitl. No one else had more than three playoff goals of their forward group. Hasn't changed much. I really don't trust their defense and their goaltending. They're going to run rough shot through the regular season. I'm sure McDavid and Dreisaitl are going to have a million points, and they probably will do it in the playoffs, and they're definitely both good enough to carry this team to a cup, but I think there are better teams overall that still have that star power but are just more well-rounded that i'd trust more if, than if, J- if jack campbell so negative so what are you putting yeah. in cream of the crop yeah. because i think a lot of people they are, are pretty like highly the oilers as stanley cup favorites wait, 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 wait. Betting odds it, for yeah if jack long campbell long. actually is just even like way better than he obviously he was last year starter though no but like what if he is like let's just say he gets back to that and he is what he was are they going to give him a chance to though of course they pay him the money they have to give him some kind of pretty good preseason too they'll give him a chance at some point if he plays him and skinner will split but I just mean if I'm just saying in the yeah. in this situation because you're obviously super but like, hard. What was he before? On that board. But what was he before? Like he was it, never a top ten goalie. He was maybe like a top fifteen guy. I'm just asking if it changes your mind. Not really. Okay. Because I, I just haven't seen it from him, so I don't think that's gonna happen. I I do I don't think you're giving enough credit to like I know whatever like you're saying in the playoffs they they had some like pretty crazy games, but I think like once they got Ekholm in the regular season, like they were so good for that yeah. stretch run and i i think he's a difference maker on the blue line for them i don't disagree but man with but, man, but, but yeah, the, 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 the regular season, playoffs, regular season. yeah exactly like in and the like, playoffs they're still, still were... leaking goals skinner skinner couldn't stop a beach ball in that second series like i i i i agree like until we see i think specifically more so than anything the goaltending like until we see like consistent good goaltending from the oilers they they yeah, they're not they're not going to get it done. I agree. They, they can't just win all their games in shootouts. I, they need to acquire just, another like, D. They lost to the best team in the playoffs, by the way. So, like, they... Like, I know. They, that's against the Vegas Golden Knights that were the Stanley Cup champions, and I genuinely think, like, they looked incredible. And they also dummied them a couple times. Like, the Oilers blew them out of the water in a couple games. So we're giving them all the negative of, like, how they surrendered a bunch of goals sometimes, but then they had like massive wins over the Stanley cup champions in those playoffs. That series could have gone so differently with like a couple minor things. So could the jets and Vegas here. In, in, in like just... We won game one game three. We lose in double overtime off of a terrible bounce off of Dylan Sandberg could have been a, could yeah, have been just, a six all, or seven game saying, series. All, exactly. And I think the jets are pretty good. I'm just saying, I, I'm not going to bury this team because of yeah, like, maybe it's a little, the playoff. Yeah, it's just, like, no, no. just like one thing, like you, all of you can be right. Right at the same point, I'm more partial to your opinion. Where I think now we're kind of underrating them a little bit, but at the same time, like, are any of you moving it from cream of the crop? No, th- that's why I don't think I don't yeah, think it's. I, mean, like, I, think, I, I think they're a better team than the stars. Oh, I, mean, I would. Bad I, I, I would put bad, them as cup bad, favorites. Bad, I think they're a better team. I disagree with that, but because I also think you guys overrate Ottinger like crazy. Like, like you said, he's a top five goal in the league. I don't think that's true. I think it's true. Yeah, I don't want a lot Maybe better was, than what the Oilers have. Yeah, I, I feel yeah, like I, I ended my point with, like, they can definitely win the Stanley Cup. Like, I don't think there's any reason to think that they can't win the Stanley Cup because of their high-end talent. But, yeah, I guess I was more of starting it from a place of, like, yeah, I think they're, like, betting odds and people are really high on them to win the Cup. And this is why I don't think they are quite there. You're being negative on them as if, like, you're already discussing, like— because they're regarded as a Stanley Cup contender. Yeah, and as that's, far as the Stanley more, Cup contenders go, exactly. you're, I think you're saying still that, a really good team. Like, yes. I don't think anyone is. The, yeah, but the problem with the Oilers is that uh, you, Do you know think the Oilers will win their division. Um, I don't I know if they will. I think it'll be them or Vegas. But 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 I, I just think I that love like LA too. <laughs> if you look at the Oilers and the Stars, in my opinion, one team has like clearing holes on it, and the other doesn't. But then the the counter argument is one team has McDavid and Drysaddle and one team does. not Yeah, but like Which that may, combination not, hasn't worked yeah, yet. You know, it's just fair. The stars have like, I, mean, I feel like the stars have had a little more playoffs. You mean you mean combination hasn't worked to like get all the way? To all the way, yeah. <laughs> just making sure. Uh, 
Should we just move on to the next team, I think? Because yeah. we're not moving them, so. All right. Canucks? My Canucks? Canucks. I read one note on your Canucks <laughs> that I that terrified me a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> also, by the way, sorry, someone noticed the Gabrick socks. Uh, <laughs> Actually, oh, Jesse, yeah. Wow. I, I, this is the first time I'm noticing the Gabrick yeah, you, you guys haven't seen them. Yeah. There you go, guys. See? It, I gotta it, say, it looked, did I win that? It, it looked just like a piece of cloth with one of those yeah. name tags that That's, my mom yeah. used to put on yeah, my what? underwear when I went to cab as a kid. Yeah. Once Gabrick. I saw the sock... Why isn't his phone his home phone number on that? <laughs> someone someone got a hustle me. Them. Someone got a yeah. hustle me on sideline swap. Just got like a label maker. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. the Michaels got a label maker. Charged like thirty five bucks for them. Yeah. I actually think he, the Gabrick socks had like did and ended up being better in my mind when they weren't there. Because once I saw yeah. them in the video, I was like theater of the mind. But I don't These like are probably yeah, like cool. God, these like, they're rich. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. All right. Go go watch Bin Boys if you have. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Vancouver Canucks. It's so weird because I'm so high on some of their players. I think, like like we said, I, I think I had Elias Patterson at, at the highest of all of us. Yeah, you have him top ten. Uh, yeah, I, I, he's a, I would think of him as tenth best player in the league. He's so incredible. I think he is underrated in his defensive work too, and but I think they're a terrible team. <laughs> I just don't think they're good. I think they didn't really address anything from the offseason. They lost Bo Horvat at the trade deadline. Obviously, the one thing that I think could kind of like save them from where I'm about to put them is if Demko and like Casey DeSmith combined to be way better than what their goaltending was last year. But um, I just I don't think they're a very good team. It and I I feel for Canucks fans. I mean, like I'm also not a big Rick Tockett guy. Didn't like I don't think he yeah, was a good coach fair. in Arizona. Um, and I just, I don't believe in them this year, I, which sucks. Cause I would love to see some of their top end talent and Quinn Hughes and Pedersen actually get a shot to play in the playoffs and things like that. But I don't know. I don't, I don't really see it happening, especially like there's still like people still talk about like them maybe moving Garland and like, he's one of your good players. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're hoping to get in return for that other than just like, uh, maybe a younger, cheaper version of him or something, but like that's not what you're gonna get. So I, I don't really know. I I don't uh, have a lot of hope for them. Honestly. I know this sounds grim, but like the chat seems to agree. We got a poll at seventy eight percent. Do you believe in the Canucks this year? No. They're just they're just they're just not good defensively. The, the like their back end their back end is is terrible. <laughs> but, but that might have been two people. <laughs> well, three good for the map. Good event. Who do they have on defense right now? Quinn Hughes. Like Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes. Tyler Myers. Yeah. Ian Cole. Um, <laughs> Tucker Pullman. Ronick is Ronick is solid. Yeah, Ronick yeah, actually thought Ronick that was a good trade last yeah. year. Yeah, everyone was mm-hmm. harping on them for that trade. But yeah. like, to get a, yeah. Even like getting they Bavillier did. back, like solid guy. I know it's not it's like, insane. I mean, Bo Horvat wasn't great with the Islanders either after, so it's, it's, they're it's a like, weird trade. But it's a weird like, trade, but I know he's not a Bo I don't Horvat. think it was a terrible trade. I, no, like, no. I think they did fine. It's more just like, I, but I don't think, that made them better this yeah. year. As yeah. As far as their compete, I feel like them in Nashville will kind of like finish with similar records. Yeah. Funny enough, when I like I said, I actually was kind of like I went into wanting to rank them. I wanted to be like, yeah, like maybe this is the year the Canucks finally Love do it. Petey. Pedersen seems to like put it together, and I just yeah, there's not enough there. Mm-hmm. Next I would have. Huh? Yeah. No. I, I think it was wild card fight or bad, but not bad enough. And I, I don't. I think you got it right. This has been a negative yeah. list. So far. <laughs> <laughs> we got well, we got positive we got teams couple, coming up. We got a couple we good got a, teams coming up. You know what? All right, Vegas Golden Knights, which I think is an interesting one. Great Stanley Cup rings, by the way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Those and things the are cool. best, and the best how ever? they best ever, maybe best like banner raising ever. But, yeah, too. the banner like, raising was very unbelievable. They, they, what else? So cool. The business. actual banner. Yeah, was so the banner was really cool too. They do it all right. They just gotta say, fellas, most likable franchise in the league. Yes, he agrees. Definitely not. Definitely not. Sam agrees with that. But I will say, um. If you have not been to a game in Vegas, you got to go because it was probably the coolest like in-arena experience I've ever experienced for any sporting event in my life. The sound system at T-Mobile Arena and not to you know not to sound like like a, like a, a loser or anything, but I actually went to Coachella. <laughs> went to Coachella. What was that? No, no, check that, please. Not to sound like a loser. Listen, I Can went. We back to, check I, that. Has what? Flex back that. check. I went to Coachella, and like me and my boys, me and my boy Jared and Josh, were like, "Hey, 
The Jets are playing against Vegas in the playoffs. Let's go to Vegas. We drove to Vegas, which was also sick. I would advise also, everyone to do the, that. The Triple Vegas. J's. Are you Jesse, Jared, and John. It was the craziest. Jesse is we, recommending we drove, Vegas as a trip. We drove through the desert. <laughs> Hot take. Hot take. I Vegas. went to Coachella with some of the best sound systems in the world. Wait, T-Mobile we got... Arena blew it out he of was, the water. I know. You were telling us. Frank Ocean killed it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Completely done with Frank Ocean. I came on stage. We've got a fact check over okay. here in the Zegra zone. I, I'm, starting, I I'm starting a new thing all together, and it's Jesse unnecessarily bringing up the Jets, and the counter <laughs> The counter is at two so far. Oh, yeah. That's I it. thought it was going to be way, I, 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 way lower than usual. I, I had you Four. bringing them up uh, when you were talking about the Oilers. And we're talking about how Vegas and the Oilers gave them a good run. You just brought the Jets up there. <laughs> out of nowhere. Oh, well, that's true. Let's, 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 the Jets could have taken Vegas to six games. And, and, and now we're talking about the, 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 Let's wait for this at the end of the division. But now. I love also taking them to six games. <laughs> <laughs> that is what, what did the Oilers take Vegas to? Wasn't it, didn't Vegas win in six? I got a fact like, that. I think it was like, six. It's the same thing. No, yeah, it's not, because like, like, they, they got to say. You're like, them. yeah, you're like, played them hard, you know, it could have been different. It's like, yeah, if if the Jets didn't hit the post in overtime, it also would have gone to six, and we'd be saying, the Jets played Vegas. Honestly, hard. guys, can, can I say That's, one thing? The I, Jets I, are I, better than the Oilers. If you, oh, haven't, if you <laughs> haven't done it before, you got to go to Vegas and see your You'd team rip. almost make a comeback and then rip your heart out in overtime. Dude. No, I saw the, I saw the, that no, was, that was I saw no, the Jets saw the, win. He saw the win. He I, saw the win. <laughs> Almost yet, I had oh, awful, that, that is pretty sick, awful though. food poisoning. Oh, awful. Let's move it on to the next terrible. team. Let's, let's get on to the next Where, you, nice. where are you ranking them? Uh, okay, yeah, back to Vegas. Uh, back to why we're here. Um, you know what? The only reason I'm going to, I'm going to put them in, in, in creme de la crop. And the only you've not got that <laughs> stop I mean, right. What? I don't even know how to say it. cream of the crop. Cream of oh, the okay. crop. The, like cream of the corn. Cream, cream, cream of the crop. The creme de la creme. No. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. The reason why I'm putting Vegas there, they could easily be at the top, but I, I just feel like this Colorado Avalanche team is not done. I feel like they have unfinished business to do. I they're, love it. They're not just winning one cup. I think like this is going to be a team like they're going to win at least two, and especially I don't know maybe they get Landis Cog back by the playoffs. I don't know. I just feel like this team has gas left in the tank, and I think that they'll beat Vegas if they play each other in, in the in the playoffs. I love it. I okay. yeah, yeah, man. I just want to say I'm yeah. excited for to see if like if Jack Eichel's back. Yeah, man. And let me say, watching Eichel in that playoff series against the Jets, He's... wow! I was so nervous every time he touched the puck, specifically in overtime. Having food poisoning and then having a constant reason to crap your pants because a player on the other team is holding the puck, not a good combo. Whoa. Very dangerous for your pants. Yes. Jesse is and a having big fan. Of colitis. He's a big fan of the brand Puma. Puma pants. pants. Puma pants. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Puma pants rock. Fruit We're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had enough. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, you're up with the Kings? Los Angeles Kings. So... This one, to me, is in between two categories uh, because, again, they got a ton of depth. We know they got Kopitar. Absolutely box office. Box office. Two, That's who you paid the big money to go watch. Two great yeah. defensive <laughs> pairings as well. <laughs> but, man, the most suspect goaltending oh choice God. of all, which is like what a gamble to do with a team that's pretty damn solid. I like, so I, I, that alone makes it hard where I'm like, I actually think they could be cream of the crop. Like, you could put them that high. It's a possibility. But with the gold ending that they have, that feels like a stretch, even though they're just a solid team. So I do think they kind of kind of firmly belong just below that in playoffs, likely. I agree with that. Yeah, I don't know how they watched the playoffs last year and were just like, you know what, Jonas Corpusalo wasn't the answer. I think they, well, they, had, they didn't Cam have the money. Talbot is. Yeah. They didn't yeah. have the money to keep Corpusalo, no, but I, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't the answer either, though. But at the same time, like, Cam I, Talbot. Yeah. I don't know. I, I also don't love their decor. Like, a lot of youth. Yeah, a lot of youth. Well, and like but, I, I was excited Clark, to see Brent Clark down, eh? yeah, yeah, to down. make it, and he got sent down. No. I was like, "That's tough." Where does that the could, that, could, that could change though? Quick. Yeah, I hope I hope he comes back up. Um, I think he's gross, so that that changes a bit for me uh, if if like he can come back. But their fans, their fans are super into Jordan Spence, by the way. To, so I don't know. to me, he, he's I, like, a great player. They're so fun to watch though. Like up front, they've got so many fun players. I love Fiala yeah. to Byfield playing on the top line. Hopefully, yeah. like when he played with Kopitar, that that seemed to need him to, to spark him. 
I, I know you're not yeah. like a big, like a huge Dowdy guy. I won't say not big because like I feel like you also kind of reversed on that a little bit. But there like, was a year where he he did kind of like yeah. turn to vintage Dowdy, but last year he wasn't great again. He was fine last year. He was fine like. Either way, wise, but I, like, I don't know. I, I don't think it's Mike Anderson, Drew Doughty, and then it's Ga- uh, Gavrikov and Matt Roy, who again works. No, I'm, I'm not, also not, a big, not like I'm not solid, a big gra- not like Gavrikov. Gavrikov. Yeah, either. like I know he was like a big trade deadline, like target, worked out for them like, too. Then they got him on a good deal, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, I'm and he played well for them. Like, I'm not talking money value. I just don't think like when you look at, the, I think they're in the best division in hockey, and that's tough. Like, yeah, it's just it's it's such like again, you are you look like two of the teams already in their division are in the cream of the crop and i think they play them well we though like they've had two one. two years in a row against is it like the, the Oilers. best division in hockey i think so i like i don't know i think it's debatable it's debatable we'll see by the end yeah. uh okay. I, I i'll decide are we keeping I, I, them there I, though I, yeah I, yeah i do personally i feel like I for, the, a, yeah, for the playoffs likely spot. category they are like the perfect team for playoff just playoff. belong yeah. there I yeah agree. they'll yeah. probably be in the playoffs but i don't know if they're like better than colorado and edmonton and, and yeah. the way yeah. you're saying colorado depth, is changing by the hour colorado. <laughs> it's getting Fuck, more into the colorado <laughs> can i get the origin please spelling i can make a a colorado well, you say Colorado. I can make like a Colorado counter as well. I'm more than happy. Please, to do, please that. do. Because you have been saying that. Is it, Col- Any, it, get, it Please notice. It gets Colorado. 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 <laughs> Colorado. Colorado. C-A-W-L-O-D-A-O. Like Coca-Cola. O-D-A-O. Sorry. I, yeah. Should not be. Colorado. Mess that up. It's okay. All right, well, I, I just, I the last thing I want to say about the Kings, their center depth. I don't know if there's any better center depth in the yeah. league. Crazy. Down the middle. Uh, Kopitar, Dubois, Deneau. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I feel and like I just forgot that they had Dubois. <laughs> he's so he's good. The Lazak guy is like actually pretty sick. Really? Mm-hmm. Good. Like, well then, yeah. Quinn Byfield, first line man. So see how he does. Love it. I love that. Um, he has a Quinn Byfield jersey. So I haven't worn it much yet. Have yeah. one. This is the year. He got stock early. This but is and the he year. bought it with the right jersey, so it was the right call. This is the retro one. Yeah. I don't think we have to spend a whole lot of time on these next yeah. teams. I, I have a, a question for you guys. I know Z usually asks us the question. Can you name, other than Thomas Hurdle, who is on the top line for the first overall favorite San Jose Shark? I can! Well, without look looking at daily <laughs> face off. Yeah. I can, Gord. Uh, I can. Logan Couture. He's hurt right now. Um, the answer's no. I'm just by looking at it, they're not going to. They'll get yes. one of them. They might get one they of them. One, I don't they know will if not they will. get the other. Who's that Barabonov. player? Nope. Who's that player that they drafted? Uh, it's not someone they've drafted. Oh, were you thinking of Eklund? William Eklund yeah. is on the second line. Here's your react. <laughs> it is oh, Mike, Mike Hoffman, Hoffman and oh. Philip Zadina. I actually like the Zadina pickup. Like <laughs> yeah. for, for such a terrible team to just be like, yeah, maybe he works out for a hundred percent. We were talking some power play minutes and then maybe trade him. We yeah. were talking about watching college hockey. Sharks fans, do yourself a favor. Watch a ton of college <laughs> hockey yeah. this season because there's going to be a lot of great draft prospects from that. You've got Will Smith, Quentin Musty that you can watch. Ben Gaudreau just got traded as a goaltending prospect to Erie. Have some fun watching those guys. Also, try and enjoy watching William Eklund and Couture and, and Hurdle and Mario Ferraro. And be happy that your team knows what they're doing and that they could Bull be tank. one of the worst teams in NHL history. It, it, it's, the roster looks Ow. bleak. Is Couture yeah. going to go to the, the Leafs? I just feel like there's some rumors <laughs> about that. It's going to piss me off. <laughs> got pissed himself. You got a random yeah. Leafs counter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That one will be a little higher than the Jets. One. I feel like that, no, that's some, um, that's another Jets mention right there. Chalk that up. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I actually changed the the title from Jesse unnecessarily bringing up the Jets counter. Now there's a slash slash. Uh, random food poisoning mentions, and we're at well, six. You'll get four. Look, Count- nobody's getting food poisoning. Ca- right? Counters at six right now. Just so <laughs> yeah. you guys know. Yeah. Imagine being in a Jets game. You have food poisoning. No, okay. <laughs> T-Mobile. You got T-Mobile. Put it in. No, no, no. Put it in. The sound system is like literally making you, you shake the entire the time, making your bowels <laughs> shake. Yeah. It was literally making my bowels move. It wasn't even my fault. I'm, I'm gonna run it up. <laughs> Nobody said it was your fault. <laughs> okay. Who's ducks? Is that you? Me? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it? That's how much you've been thinking about him, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got him here. I, I, like, weirdly enough, I know you're thinking first overall favorites. I think that's what you guys are thinking, and I'm not going to put them there. I think they're bad, but not bad enough. Really? <laughs> yeah. I actually okay. think they, uh, especially, like, Leo Carlson starting the year on the IR, and I'm, I'm very interested to see him play because like i think he's the biggest question mark of this last draft where obviously you didn't like, rate him as highly as other people no no I, I didn't but i do think that like um 
maybe playing in a new system for like their entire team, like that maybe just the team looks a bit different this year. I, I would have loved if like Zellweger made the team. Um, but overall, I just, I don't think the roster is as bad as it seems. I think they played under their potential last year. And I think, again, new system, I think they can actually. Minchikov too. <laughs> Very pumped to see him. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I still think they have a fun roster that like, it's, uh, I'm, I feel like the hate has gone too far for them now that like, uh, can we I, only have one team in that bottom, bottom spot? No, it's like, no, 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 no. But, all, no. but at the same time, it's like, I have a I, second. Team I know Anaheim. Well. I know Anaheim's like still rebuilding, but like I kind of just want to see them take a step forward a bit already. I don't have. Like, no, you know, you know, so did John Klingberg when he went there and randomly <laughs> is now on your team. Yeah, I will never forget how weird that contract was. <laughs> yeah, it was bizarre for sure. Uh, I don't think they're a good team, but I do think like they're gonna get some wins and like they'll, I, they'll still have some fun players. But uh, I am interested to see how Leo Carlson does. Uh, but I don't think that they're going to be in the bottom three teams in the league. I was going to say, I, I think I think they will be bottom five. I think they will, too. Yeah. I can see them bottom five. I don't think they'll be bottom three. And bottom three is how we have that Even last worse. one? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I, I don't, we don't have any real rule for the last one. I just There's, like, another team that I think of as, like, just horrible. Bad. Two, there's two teams that are just... I, I think I know who Gorman's thinking of. Yeah. All right. Well, then, if no one's arguing, then I guess Seattle. next Seattle. Uh, you know what, fellas? I feel like Seattle's kind of finding their finding their groove a little bit. I Big Ron Francis like, guy. Yeah, Huge. Ron Francis from day one. I, I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Won Ron his Francis. job from yeah. day one. Boy. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Could I do your job better than you, Ron Francis? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Still no respect. Just kidding. Uh, I, I feel like they should be in that same category as uh, as the Kings. In that they, I think they're they're likely to make the playoffs. <clears throat> Although at the same time, I feel like the Wild are probably just as good as the Kraken too. That's why I kind of feel like I want to move the Wild up because I feel like the Wild should be a playoff team, likely. <laughs> but but <laughs> I, I just I just feel, I just feel like I was very impressed with Seattle last year. I don't really see them getting worse than they were last year. I don't think last year was like a fluke. I feel like no, kind of one of those. I really yeah. believe in them. I honestly yeah. think they're closer to cream of the crop than they are to wild. Wow. Night, honestly, I don't know. Like I w- I wouldn't. I, I you know what I I I, don't, I feel like them in LA should kind of be. I don't feel like they should be higher than LA. No, no, I'm, like I'm, I'm not saying I'm there. not saying move them up. I'm just saying like, like I'm saying move both their asses up. No, I'm kidding. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. Uh but yeah, that's I would put them in playoffs likely, but if you guys disagree and, and think it's a wild card fight, then you know, I'm open to I'm open to discussion. I mean, like based on how the standings could shake out, like I, I really don't want to do it like that though, because I feel like playoffs likely because we already obviously have three central teams in there, so obvi- like wild card is where they'd be fighting for. But I, I think they could just as easily get that third spot in the division as LA would. So exactly, I think it's fair. And it's and it's they get that third spot or they are a wild card team. Yeah, yeah, I'm into it. All right, moving on. Again, though, we're talking best division in the league. They've already got four teams in playoff likely and above. Tough. Looking are you good. Yeah, add, yeah, yeah, are you yeah, gonna yeah, add we, a fifth? We haven't, we'll we haven't, we haven't done a single Eastern yeah. Conference. Yeah, well, don't worry, I'll get to them. It's in order. Uh, Flames, then. I feel like Daryl Sutter leaving is already good for ten points. Oh yeah, because like the atmosphere in there with all of their players, and I get it. You're, I know you, what you mean. I, it is I, rude because like he's he gets results, but I know. What but you mean. like, Last man, they were miserable. Like Huber, I didn't realize he literally had less than half. The yeah. points he had the year before, yeah, yeah. ha, mm-hmm. and like we knew regression was coming, but like but that's not, like that's that. not re- yeah. like that's not normal regression. No, that's like your situation like, sucks. Yeah. Wild. But uh, they, I will say, like the Flames were like incredibly unlucky last year. Yeah, for sure. No, like they're they're not as bad as well. Like I'm not gonna put like I don't know where you would have thought I would have put them, but I don't think they're as bad as last year would have suggested. I don't know if I want to put them net. They could kind of be between playoffs likely and wild card spot. But I feel like just because you really there's enough guys on there that have to really prove it. And again, they got rid of Toffoli, who had the most goals for them last year. Um, but you're a devil's guy. Are you into Sharon Govich? Or? Not as much as I'm into okay. Toffoli. Not, okay, obviously. Yeah. But either way, fine enough trade. We'll see how that works out because he's probably going to leave anyway. Both score. But I'm going to put him in a wild card. Um, yeah. So. I agree with that just because of how good their division is, honestly. Cause yeah. It's, like, it's, I just think. It's, yeah. I would, I would, I'd move them down. Personally. Down. Wow. I'm, I'm not, not into not, them. I'm not into Calgary. Wow. 
I think they're a good I team. I don't think I don't think they're that good. They're okay. Like I, I, I think the Sutter stink is real. Like last year was so bad that dude they I, hated and, like, playing for Markstrom that guy. went they from like career it. year to like worst year of his career in a heartbeat and like. They're probably somewhere you can't in between. Can't on Daryl Sutter. But and, but no, no, I'm not. But I'm just saying, like everything about this. Yeah, team but last maybe the guys just in a front disaster. of Markstrom weren't playing as hard because of Sutter, and then that affects Mar- no, Mar- Markstrom. Markstrom, right. all, yeah, but he, 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 you know, you know what but, though, yeah. I, guys, Ka- Calgary is a very interesting team because last year was the first year that we saw them without Kachuk and Goudreau. Yeah, and then, and then this year we're going into them. It's like this is the first year without those guys and Sutter. So like we really don't know what to expect with Calgary. Because I see what you're saying with the wild card fight in the sense that, like, they have pieces, Dude, they got pieces. That, that could, uh, you know, lift them into that category. But, man, I don't know. Like, are they a team? Like, they're kind of a little older, too. Like, they're just – I think I the, uh, for the, the one – for the yeah. so, no, 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 go ahead. Ian. The only thing I was going to say was, like, it'd be great for them if Shillington comes back. Because, obviously, we, we don't really know yeah. what's going on there. Like, mm-hmm. he didn't play at all last season. Who yeah. knows if he will this season. That would be a huge boost for them, just because like I don't think they really have another defenseman like him, that great skater moves the puck like like it's I think they're missing. Anderson's pretty sick, uh, but but they're different. Like the, yeah, Anderson is not a comp to what Shillington offers that team. All I was, all I was gonna say was on paper last year when they made all the moves. I remember when we were chatting about them, like you guys and especially you were actually like you thought they may have gotten better from what they had done, and obviously that proved to be completely not the case. And I get it, hindsight, whatever, not holding you to that, but they do have a really good team, and I totally believe it. Like if an atmosphere sucks somewhere and everyone just gets dragged down, it can really kind of make you look a lot worse than you are. I think wild card feels. They were kind of in the wild card race last year too. Exactly, they only missed the playoffs they were. by like a couple yeah, points. I know. So it wasn't like they're which is crazy to think, right? right? Like right. with your All best right. players not playing as good. That's why I, I honestly like. Again, if it wasn't for their how good their division is, I would probably put them in playoffs. Likely, mm-hmm. like I, I think they will make the playoffs, and the they're like, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. But does anyone want to move them down, or are we no, good? We're I'm good with them there. We can leave. I'm good with them there. Zegers zone. Zegra's zone time. Yeah, that's the Pacific. I, th- I think my biggest gripe here is is the Kraken being where they were. I'm just not really into this team. Didn't buy them. They, they proved me wrong last year, though. They did. They consistently did. But I just don't know if they can keep that going. Also, Why? A, a take that, stu- that stood out. Corwin said that Jake Ottinger is like definitively not a top five goalie in the NHL. I don't think he is. No. Drag him. Like, who, name five better goalies than Jake Ottinger. Okay, Sorokin, Gustafson. Shosturkin, yeah, Soros. The Gustafson doesn't, like, he has to prove it more. Though. Like, I mean, I guess he's allowed to name so his does opinion. I. I'm loving the wild, so I'll allow that. Vasilevsky? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Vasilevsky. I, I, like, I, I think I could keep going, honestly. Hellebuck, Georgiev. I haven't even said. I don't know if I'll go with Georgiev. I think, I, honestly, I think <laughs> Georgiev and him are a pretty similar category in my mind. Like, I, I think Ottinger has had some great playoff performances that have boosted his status in people's minds. Right, okay. so. That, that that's fair. I'll, I'll give you a pass on that. And then the the, the other two notes I got here is <laughs> like I give you a pass. Oilers. The Oilers are gonna win the cup. Like <sighs> Wait, McDavid, you're saying that McDavid is eventually gonna win. I think we all have to accept that. Not not that's not what the Zegers <laughs> zone is for. That's not, the, that's not objective. <laughs> take, a, take a seat. <laughs> and then uh, the the Jesse Jets counter is up to nine. If anyone wants to. Know. <laughs> that's actually a lot that's lower than good. I thought it would Honestly, be. Honestly, I don't even remember saying the Jets. To be fair, though, you do blank time. out when you say it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's all just a blur. And yeah. as much as I agree with Luca that that's not as much as I thought it would be, it's gone up quick. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. yeah, two last time. It was seven, two. We're, that was a sneaky wow. seven. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let next. Wow. Next division. Thank you. All right, we are we're starting with the Washington Capitals. I've got the Capitals, and this is a team that I'm kind of like you, Jesse, with Nashville. This is I feel like this is the Nashville of the East for me, where this team has kind of two years left with this core that they've built. The young players. I was looking at their draft history. Aside from this year's class, the last three draft classes, no one has played more than six games in the NHL. And then you have to go back to 2014 for a player that the Capitals have drafted that has 50 career NHL points, and that was Jacob Vrana. So they have not done a good job of drafting, developing players, 
which has left them in this situation where it's like, we're just waiting for Ovi to pass Gretzky that's at it. this point. And that's the only thing that I can... Like, could this just team... feed him on the... Exactly. That's, that's their cup. Again, that's could this cup. team, if they yeah. stay healthy, make a wild card spot? I could see it because they have some really good players still. Like, but... No. Have they been able to stay healthy? No. Nicholas Backstrom has not stayed healthy. TJ Oshie has not stayed healthy. I like Rasmus Sandin. I like that addition a lot, and I, I'm happy that he's getting first pair of minutes, and we'll see him on the power play. He looked really good in his time in Washington last year, but this is bad, but not bad enough for me, for sure. Sorry, I'm just laughing again. Thank you for all your comments. Someone put sharks too high. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? Shout out, Jay Z. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to screw that. I was going to try to add a category that just said worst team ever. But uh, the I feel like the worst team ever. Like we always think there's gonna be the worst team ever. Yeah, they and never, it doesn't they never live up to the hype. Yeah. And you know they what? They absolutely do. The sometimes. Sharks sometimes, but like I don't know. Every sport, you're like the Arizona Cardinals are gonna be the worst team ever. They're they're not. It's it's so sad. Like the Sharks were such a juggernaut forever for, for like years, Marlo man. Every and Thorne and so Zolski. But hey, all, all good things come to an everybody. end. Yeah, all good things come to an end. Crazy. Am I up with the Devils? Yeah. And Quay is just making noise. Honestly, yeah. wanna start? Shoot him a mess. Wow, here we go. Get out of there. Devils, come wow. favorites. He did it. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Actually? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. It's not coming. Fully did. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think the Devils are unbelievable. I think their roster is so good. Obviously, the big question mark is Vanacek still, but he was solid last year. Um I don't think that guarantees them anything. He could easily go back to being not good. Uh, but I just think top to bottom, they're exciting to watch. They're like, I'm, I'm so excited to watch their power plays this year between like their center depth and just everything about their team. Like their third line is like Palat, Halla, and Holtz. That's a, that's a crazy, like exciting third line. Like, like as a Leafs fan, people are all excited about like Minton and, and nice and like man the, 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 i don't know their team is i'm envious of it because like then you add in like they're not even starting with nemich uh on the team it sounds like but like i'd imagine he'll come up at some point this year and to have him and luke hughes in there along with obviously a pretty good decor already with siegenthaler and hamilton and uh you know yeah and john marino oh, like just the Marino's worst son. trade for the penguins by the way like like waved ty smith at this point and john marino has been great for the devils yeah uh especially inner division trade like wild Tough. in my mind but yeah i just i don't think they have a weakness which uh, i know obviously technically i don't know i should say i guess their one weakness could be goaltending and that's a huge one but he was pretty good last year so um I think you have them in cup favorites, favorites. okay Sam so <laughs> samuel adams they have a traffic cone and net <laughs> <laughs> no, you saw it. No, you saw it. Just a funny comment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Has anyone? I don't know. It's so tough. I, 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 I don't know if I'm, I'm ready to call them cup favorites. I think I would say they're like creme de la crop. But <laughs> now you're doing it on purpose. Uh, <laughs> There's no way that was intent. Um, like I don't know if I'm gonna say that they're like better than Vegas right now or Color or uh, Colorado. <laughs> that's a pen click it's a pen click I will click this pen if you say Colorado I'm wrong there. one more time that's how I say it it's like sometimes I say cold I say cold and then like and I, it, it's weird I don't know what it is cold? my friends have been calling me up cold. Said, cold. Cold, no? cola cold Colorado like cola anyway cold. Cold? Are we keep are we voting on this the Devils? I would I vote them down personally. I would I would put them in creme of the crop but I think that the Devils are on the right path yeah and like I mean they I, I just per, I think they're a better team than the Stars. I do not. I'd, I'd vote them down personally. I don't think they are either. I would vote them down as well because I've I've. That's just. I, I was I was in on the Stars, so I, I feel like I can't I can't back out of the Stars now. But I, no, I don't I think the it, Devils' honestly. argument is wrong. Can there be one it's, more it's, than it's me in New Jersey against the world? Could there be? Could there one be? Get an NJ hat. hat I mean, we technically could have one East and one West team in Cup favorites. But no, we've never done it like that. Coward. <laughs> I, I'm on Dallas then. <laughs> yeah, fair. All right, so they've moved down. So is this is this my turn? Yeah, Penguins. <sighs> we got Boys. a little preview them last night. Or I know this when? this is an interesting one because it's a du really interesting one. Yeah, like Dubis comes in, kind of. You, you see what he's trying to do. He's trying to 
Get that bottom six trying, a little better. No, you're trying to just soak every last drop out of those last <laughs> prime Crosby years, right? Like, everyone's saying Crosby could be nom- nominated for the heart by the end of the year. He's going to have an amazing season, all the stuff. Which I just don't, like, they're still, they're still, they're good. I just don't, like, I'm not prepared to call them cream of the crop. Wow. I, don't, I don't even. So you're, you're going to put them in playoffs likely? I don't know. It's like I feel like they're going to be in a in a wild card fight. If if I if I had to guess, oh, you're putting even lower. Uh, yeah, yeah. Orange just yeah. said. I I I just think that they're in, they're in a pretty strong division, and um, as much as I I absolutely love you guys know I love Sidney Crosby, and very into like Malkin, but I still feel like uh, is their D necessarily good enough? Are they going to get? Good, good enough goaltending all year. Like I'm not, I'm not a hater on Jari by any means, mm-hmm. but he needs to stay healthy. Who's their backup now? It's not I mean, the Smith. It's not one the, the Smith. One of those yeah. goals last night. I know they got to be polite on the broadcast. Like, oh, just squeaks right by him. You should have been like, yeah, that should have oh. been your glove, buddy. They got Riley Smith too, and, and very happy for Jansen Harkins making uh, Jansen Harkins being that team. By the way, he also made one of the worst passes Going in on? preseason that I saw. But like, I feel like he like. Never mind, but it was just a relevant thing. I just remember when it was uh, your guy. I guess they got Carlson too, but then I still think like defensively, are they that that good on the back end? I I I feel like like I think you got them in the perfect I, spot. I, 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 I completely agree with yeah. you. I know. Yeah. I I was I was shocked you were putting them in playoff likely. Like I thought that was high. Yeah. I was like they didn't even make the playoffs last year, and obviously yeah they had Carlson. They got a little bit better, but I still think I'm I'm with you. I think they're yep. Scrapping it out there. Yeah, yeah, they'll they'll scrap it out, but like it's just int- yeah, I don't know. It's, they, I'm they, with you. They, de- they they definitely are a better roster than they were last year, but how much better is that than they were last year? I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'll make mine quick. I got the Philadelphia Flyers, similar to the Sharks. At least they know what they are. They are going for that bottom. Uh, you can go ahead and just plunk them right at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, the, the only thing that's really notable about them for the rest of you, yeah, I get it. They have like Couturier back and Cam Atkinson, but like. Okay, they they still will be easily one of the worst teams in the league. It, it's Michkov, watch. And, man, him getting loaned out, scoring against his old team, and celebrating that hard, hilarious. So more of those clips, and that's all you should care about this year as the Flyers fans. That's, yeah, that's I also saw a really funny, like, awkward video from him where he, like, posted a video where he, like, chucks a basketball backwards, like, behind a thing. I, I don't know. It's a funny video. If you it. haven't seen it, like, go, go check out his Instagram. It's like... It's just very awkward, but like fun. It's wholesome. Yeah, but yeah. They're, Me- they're Meech- a horrible team. Meech Cobb. <laughs> I think it was Doctor Candy. Won't say the rest of the name. Meech Cobb waiting room. That is correct for the title of them. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. What do you do with Konechny if you're the Flyers? Because I think he's oh, got like hope what? It's a hot streak. I need trade him. <laughs> well, does he have to hit a hot streak? Like I feel like Konechny is a good enough player that you can you you kind of know what you're getting in a connect me well you, you'll but, trade for him at the deadline so yeah you probably just still want as much value so yeah i think his, i think he has two years left on his deal though but the thing is is that he is just like another team i feel could use connect me more than philly obviously mm-hmm. imagine how much they could get for couturier if he returns the form in if he way. will yeah but that's pretty he's, bad he's obviously an yeah. incredible yeah. player but. yeah it's an injury that you definitely gotta prove. yeah prove that you got your form still you hopefully though the rangers I think it's you. Actually, I have the Rangers. No, I don't have the Rangers. Yeah, I don't know. So, because Philly seemed to be out of order somehow. Oh, okay. Or, like, they, they were down here, but you just... Well, if you don't want to hear from me so twice in a row, you can go to another team. No, no, matter. go Rangers. Um, let's, talk, let's talk Rangers. That's another one where, like, coaching change alone, I'm not going to say it's the same as the Sutter thing, where it'll be, like, 10-point jump, because, you know, this is a coach that didn't work. But, like, with Laviolette, and, again, their fans seem pretty down on themselves, but I don't know if that's, like, a, just a New York thing. Uh... I just have them in playoffs, likely. I'm not going to – it's weird. I want to say that they're cream of the crop because they have so many good pieces. Like, again, arguably top three defenseman in the game. Definitely top three goalie, if not best, depending mm-hmm. on whatever night and month that he's having. They have enough depth that I, you could put them cream of the crop. Ah, so I don't want to fence it, so screw that. I'm going cream of the crop. I'm I doing like it. it. I think by the end of it, I think they'll belong there. But heading in, I get why you'd have reservations, but I'm going to plunk them, and I think that in the end, they'll they'll prove to be a very solid team. If Lafreniere and 
and Kako like don't take a step forward. He's getting first line minutes. I was gonna say it yeah. looks like Laviolette is actually giving both a chance yeah. to play some meaningful minutes and, yeah. and hopefully live up to those draft statuses. But you're right. I, I feel like their season kind of hinges on the development of those two. <laughs> Someone said yeah, low cream tier, and that sounds. Weird. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> well, no, no comment. Done. No comment. You're done, buddy. I would personally maybe even stick the Rangers in playoffs likely. Yeah, uh, like when you look at the teams around them, which someone I pointed out, I think it was Zed be there, like that does feel a little ambitious. Uh, I just, like my only thing. a good roster. Yeah. Like I do, I actually agree with you that I think they're really good, but I, I think they're very comparable to LA that I think they're a really good team, but For their sure. division is really good. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not a bad shout. But I, you know, just to be not a fence sitter, I, I would still keep them where I had them, but. I'd vote them to playoffs likely, personally. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I would too. I think out of the Yeah, just to I feel like, like balance out the tier list a next? little more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah. I'll, I've got the canes, just stick them into cream of the crop. But I feel like I got both Stanley Cup favorites as far as the odds go with the Oilers and Canes and a lot of people's popular picks. You're and an all time Canes hater. Yeah, kind of. Like I, I've I've got this reputation as a Canes hater where it's it's not that I'm a Canes hater, it's more just like I, I don't think this team currently constructed gets over the hump and wins a Stanley Cup because I just don't think they have the star power to do it. But don't like I mean, because like they're a cup favorite with a lot of people. Like they are. Yeah. That's a popular pick. They are. And is anyone gonna vouch for him? They scored under like, best three goals in, the game, in no. almost half of their playoff games last year. Like I get it, Aho is a really, really good player. We're talking a really, really good player though that like flirts with a point per game every year. Like he's not an 100 point guy. Svechnikov has not proven to be a consistent 30 goal scorer. I know he got hurt last year, but his averages were still they would have been just right on 30 goals, right on 70 points. Like they have the most depth in the league. The style of play they have can absolutely win them a Stanley Cup because we've seen teams that are just loaded with depth. Like Vegas is a great example last year where it's just depth everywhere. Like not one guy is just the superstar scorer. The Blues did it when they won it as well. Um, They've got a great defensive system. Like Slavin is obviously underrated when we talk about best defenseman in the league because he doesn't put up points. But I, I just don't think they have enough up front and they haven't done anything to add it like michael bunting isn't that guy is it corn do they just bunting get the cup first when they win or do you think Ooh, very interesting. that's usually definitely yeah. not I, I think he's pretty low on the rankings yeah. i think low. it goes Whew. look at those pairings though <laughs> yeah it's that's, pretty nasty. that's nasty they're really good or don't get was, me wrong oh, it's it's slavin burns shea uh pesci orlov I mean, d'angelo having orlov on, as your third line lefty is crazy yeah like, like embarrassing riches and he's like I think so good amazing. off i really do think of them pretty much as like the vegas of the east yeah mm. yeah but they just like also have not been able to get it done in the playoffs so i understand why they're not necessarily the cup favorite I feel people like. are yeah, pointing but, out yeah. too that they haven't won a conference final game since 06 like they've been swept in both the conference finals of the brendan moore era which i mean unlucky for sure but it's like something there okay. yeah like i, I just I know they're such a good team. I, I agree. I'm probably not putting them Stanley Cup favorites. Just more honestly though, more just because I find them boring. But like, <laughs> speaking like, of boring, <laughs> <who's> you? <laughs> if you don't mind, yeah, sorry. That's a good it's segue. A great segue. As Joe Buck once said, I almost pulled a hamstring trying to segue with that one. Uh, <laughs> not at all. It was actually very easy. Uh, but uh, you know what? Honestly, when I think of teams that I just don't like in the league. <laughs> Islanders are definitely one so of them. Harsh. I just, I'm just not into them. Shoot off. Here we uh, go. And, and, don't and like, you know, wants to punt them from you know the what? league. <laughs> I'm, I'm rewatching Entourage right now. I know E from Entourage loves the Islanders. I don't. What's his name? Er, er, Eric uh, Connolly? Uh, yeah. No, that's Kevin O'Connell. Kevin O'Connell. That's but his it. name in the show is Eric Murphy. Yeah, uh, I was thinking his more real life y- name, but yeah. 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 Um, I'm going to put him. In... <laughs> You're gonna put oh, him. Sorry, or... yeah. Him, him and where does he rank on <laughs> the entourage? Him and... On the entourage tier list, where is he at? The show as on uh, entourage as a show. He's cup favorite. Cup favorite. <laughs> e, who's one of the cheaper characters in the show, and his team is cheap. I'd probably stick them in. I just know they're gonna be fighting for a wild card spot, and it pisses me off to so stick them there. But I just think that they're not gonna make it and i i just don't care for them i completely agree. probably yeah. the, the, even though they're not the worst team in that division the last the team you'd think of in the metro to yeah even watch a game i kind of have like yeah like like i feel like yeah. them and the bruins are duking it out for that uh 
last wild card spot there. Ooh, interesting. A yeah. uh, little, pre- little preview yeah. there of the Bruins. Okay. okay. Uh, Bruins. Is that our next but team? Also, no? I will say, no. like, they're for sure, they're always going to be in it because their decor is so good. And Sorokin. And Sorokin. Yeah, like, you're just, they're going to win games. <laughs> and in the most frustrating way possible, they're going to win games, but they're, yeah. they're going to Holy yeah. crap. Empty It'd be cool if, if Horvat and Barzal could actually, like, put some chemistry together and actually bring I, back some of the magic that Barzal has. Again, Bar- Barzal has scored more than 20 goals once in his career. It's nuts. He's yeah. a rookie. He's yeah. a rookie. Yeah. That is an insane that stat. It's nuts. Brock okay. Nelson, though. The truth. <laughs> that's, who, that's who it's all about. You're buying a Brock Nelson jersey. Um, okay, we'll wrap up this division. I've got the Lightning. Yeah, that's, that's that different division, my friend. Oh, no, that isn't. Oh, you're right. Ah, hey, here we go. That means it's time for the Zeker Zone. It's time for the Zeker Zone. Quick fact check on that Barzell stat. Checks out. Way to go there. Who would have thunk it? I got something right. Um, <laughs> What's the Jets count at? You? Does he have there you, oh, you, oh uh, I yeah. thought you were you asking. What you know what? Average? Honestly, not a whole lot to report from the Zeker Zone after this division. Jets count stays at nine. Wow. Jesse, wow. Jesse was on good behavior. Yo, guys. There you go. Way to go. Thanks Way to go, Jesse. You, Don't leave hey, Z hanging. Look how who's going to fish you. Oh, I'm trying to get I fish. I, I. Um, Jesse was asking for the, the Penguins' backup goalie. That's Alex Nadelkovich. There you go. Oh. Oh. His stock um, was high and went right down. Yeah. We aren't done the division yet. Columbus, it's out of order. Oh, yes. Oh. Columbus. How could we forget? Stay Thank you to all the comments. Robert Ducky, this. everyone. Everyone that's commenting. Who has Look them? This. I think I have them. Can I see your phone? Sorry to interrupt the Zeger zone. I feel bad now. Why? Oh, it's okay, it's all good. I'm not allowed. You're not I'm here all day. Check that. I'll be here all day. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, wow. Who's got Columbus? Z. I, got Columbus. I was dark. Okay, Columbus? They're a team I'm like kind of high on, but I just don't know if it's enough. Like, I kind of think of them almost similar to the Coyotes, but like better but again like certain things that i kind of would have hoped for them as like oh hopefully this is kind of what helps put them over the edge this year is not looking that great in training camp like basically like like kent johnson they're like healthy scratching him it looks like which is insane to me like that for a team that's up and coming and trying to take that next step to take one of your highest upside guys and potentially put him in the press box is wild um send in a message Sure, <laughs> but <laughs> where's where's Fantilli playing? This guy is an Isles. That's guy. the other thing. He's playing third line center, which I don't love. Like, uh, like I think it's him, Marchenko, and uh, actually I think I have it here, Jenner, and no, and Danforth, and then so the oh it's, I thought it's, you're talking about centers. Sorry, no, 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 Jenner's what they have is like Jenner's. Like you could technically just say that's the second line. Like their second and third line are pretty interchangeable in my mind. And one of the crazier things, I don't know if you guys saw this, but they're experimenting with line a at center they are mm. playing line a at center yeah. and he was very good in the preseason at center and i think what some people are forgetting patrick line has been almost a point per game player the last two seasons that's, i think some people that's are forgetting definitely. That. i i actually think some people are forgetting that. that's definitely getting <laughs> fact what team was he drafted by uh <laughs> <laughs> he's ready with a pen <laughs> i'm ready man i'm ready I'm just trying to get that Jets count into double the digits. The new Atlanta Thrashers. <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> no, no, no. no. The man is over new, moves. new Atlanta Thrashers. This guy's very sharp. New, new. We'll see about that. But it's weird. I, I like their team. The Arizona Atlanta Thrashers. Yeah. <laughs> the Atlanta Jets. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, like, they got to be bad but not good enough. Yeah. But yeah. I just – Fun but the, good. I think fun but bad. They are so fun. They're but fun good. but bad. I'm gonna watch a lot of Blue Jackets games for sure. Cause like, <clears throat> one, I mean, firing your coach in the preseason might mean you're just a disaster structurally. So maybe that'll be like fun chaos. And also, they just have a lot of fun players coming up. So Mike Babcock sucks. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry. Yeah, put him I, in. Yeah, is I, there a tier for him? The crumbs of the crop. Yeah, the crumbs of the crop. Really, yeah, I think he's below that somehow. Yeah. Great so if I could put the crumbs down here, maybe. Yeah. yeah. At the bottom, I'm pointing to the bottom of the tier list. Loser. Good, on, good on Columbus for, yep, for axing him. It was mm-hmm. that guy's just living on another planet. Anyways, All right. <laughs> next teams, Atlanta or no? I was say Atlantic. Atlantic, Tampa Bay Atlantic. Lightning. Lightning. Yeah. You just I got, saved you there. Yeah. yeah. I, I still said the Lightning. Lightning. I just, it just. I just get like these like shivers. I can't explain. Really? It. There's just like, yeah. No, just like, the, just like for the past five years, like you think of like the lightning. 
Like they're just so I good. know. He's back. And they're still going to be good. I mean, we saw it last night. They, uh, they're they still pretty good at hockey. But Kucherov's the, so good. Kucherov's amazing. I, I think, obviously, the biggest worry is how they're going to do with Vasilevsky out. I've seen the Jonas Johansson experience up close <clears throat> in Colorado, and it, it's not a good one. They uh, Tampa at times last night looked like it was, it was desperation mode to block <laughs> any shot yeah. from going to the net. But I don't know. Have you guys ever played beer league or any hockey you play harder with like a terrible goalie yeah you, you play better you, the team is together <laughs> the like team you is are yeah. laying out for each other nothing's true. getting by you I, like, i've been true. a terrible goalie in one of those scenarios and the amount of pep talks you get you're like man they really think i'm bad <laughs> <laughs> so all that to say playoffs likely because i and again this is not a doubt of tampa um but i think Looking at their roster, it's a little less deep than it has been in yeah. years past. And they especially took a bit of a step back last year. So they did like, first they round exit. Consistent with that. That's exactly much that category. Exactly. Um, but yeah, defensively specifically, like it, it's Hedman, Sergachev, but um, Radish and Prebix are, are playing top four minutes, and these are kind of career age Radish specifically career AHL guy that he's look great. Not saying that he's not a good player, but. Um, their depth and even up front too like no Palat now no Kalorn um, Sorelli has never been a point producer he's playing the second line so he's going to have to produce a little more I think for them which is a role he hasn't really had to play in his career yet um, Hagel looks great still I, I feel like uh, my Hagel takes have aged horribly so playoffs playoffs likely there we go I yeah I agree I don't know if anybody else yeah no that like, feels fair well yeah like I, I feel like they'll be like They'll be in those top three teams in the Atlantic, but not necessarily. Yeah, like it's just weird to think. You think of like Kucherov, Stamkos, all these guys. Like you're like, oh my god, the Lightning are amazing. But then it's like, yeah, they did lose all these guys. Yeah, yeah. they've lost guys. So the price of winning. Yep, exactly. And you'd pay it to win. They oh every they, time you would pay it. They, every they time they paid lots of money last off season, right? They yeah, they locked up uh, Sergachev, yeah. Sorelli, and Chernak as yes, well. and now the Stamkos Chernak. chatter. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. Yep. Would not have expected that from him. Yeah. He's a Good for him. Guy. Uh, I mean, so this is an interesting one. Who is the next yeah. one? It's the Leafs. Toronto Maple Leafs. Don't, is this guy going to do the thing? No, see, my, my thing is I wouldn't have them as cup favorites, but I think they're better than Dallas. So I will put them there because I, I think New Jersey is better than Toronto. But I think Toronto's better than Dallas, so I'll put them there. I'm, I'm going to start this conversation. You think they're better than the Avs? Why do you think Toronto's better than Dallas? No, I don't. We're going to have a vote, by the way, at I, the I end. Think, I think the Avs – I would take these – I would take the Avs – I think the Avs, Oilers, Golden Knights, and Devils, and maybe Hurricanes are better than the Leafs. I think every team we have in cream of the crop is better than the Stars. I disagree. But I don't know if that's justification to stick them in cup favorites. Maybe you stick them in cream of the crop. And then yeah, I mean, we're going to vote them down to cream of the crop. I'm just, yeah, but... I'm just trying to get the stars out of it. Yeah. That's all yeah, I care about. And I, we, we, get your at the we get it. Okay. So we'll vote them down to cream of the crop. Well, no. Let me make my argument for the Leafs being okay. better than the stars. Also, oh, yeah. I just, and just to make it clear, because the chat thinks we hate the stars. We don't. I think it's Corwin who's lower on the stars. <laughs> Corwin is the guy who's low. The rest of us kept it where it was. We he, like the stars and their team. I actually like some of their players. I just don't think they should be cup favorites. So what, why are the Leafs better than the stars? I'm curious. I think uh, by the end of the year, their our top line will be better than their top line, which is so much of the strength of that team is the fact that they have that – Robertson hints Pavelski line, and I think Bertuzzi, Matthews, mm -hmm. Marner is going to be a better line than that. Uh, I think that, like, Heiskanen is the difference maker there. I think Heiskanen is like. Because you're missing, like, a number one D guy. Yes. But and, I, and to be honest, you don't, in the goalie part, they beat you there, too. So. Not really. Yeah, they do. <laughs> do they? Yeah. Did Ottinger have better numbers than yes. Samsonov last year? Yes. Pull it up. Well, fact well, well, wait, no, wait, wait, let's go to the secret zone. I'm pulling this up. Here we go. Samsonov stats from last season. Might need someone to get Ottinger over here. Samsonov. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's not a book. We're, we're He's typing you want to hear his playoff stats? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I want to hear why the playoffs not matter. Stay the playoff nah. stats too. Okay, let's, let's both. Let, let's go with the playoff stats. 
Nine games, four wins, 3.13 goals against. Are you, don't, don't give me goals against. Are eight, you really eight, suggesting eight, nine, eight, that, like, that between the two goalies, based on numbers, you would really take your goalie over Ottinger? No, no, I wouldn't, but I don't think there's that much of a difference. He's got, got, he, he had an 8-9 save in the playoffs. Year, eight, Jake nine, Ottinger eight. last year had a 235 goals against and a 919 save percentage. Which I think is almost the exact same as Samsonov. 919 save, 233 goals against. You're, but again, would you take him over him? I think there would if you were just ranking. I wouldn't because he's young and I think like there's more I mean like I mean playoff 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 stats. I, I I got Samson now. Three one three goals, eight nine eight save. Oh, Luca, you have you have Ottinger there? Uh, that's it's ugly, not, man. It's not low. You got, you, I'll pull up Ottinger. You want a goalie that's gonna get it done for you in the playoffs too, and, and you you pointed to a corn like Ottinger's had a couple playoff performances that has glorified him, but it's like isn't out. that what you want in your goalie to yes. like step up in the playoffs when it matters? Yeah, but what about when he puts up stinker series too? I will say too. That. I will say too. Ottinger definitely played more games than Samsonov as well. Yeah, that's fine. But like, I I just don't. Again, all I'm saying is like you guys are acting like. Ottinger is this difference maker guy that's going to steal them games over what Samsonov will, and I don't really see it. And especially because you, the other you said there was a lot say, of contempt, but like I that also, could happen. I also think that Joseph Wall will be the starter by the end of the year for the Leafs, and I think he's going to be great. He's a very nice guy, he is very and he is a good goalie, and it'd be nice. But they still win that category. Yeah, you're probably right there, <laughs> but I think. <laughs> After all that, after all that, <laughs> you're probably right. There. I think defensively too, the stars are kind of head and shoulders better. I'd say. I wouldn't say I head and shoulders. Like Heiskanen is for sure. Heiskanen is by far the best still really defense. solid. Esel and Dell is good. Ooh. Thomas Harley's good. But I think Cedar you can Park say people Estelle. are good. Like I, I think beyond like Heiskanen is great. I just think the Leafs forward depth. I I would take over the stars, which I know some people are going to disagree with, but I just think. I think Matthews will return to form this year. I think he'll come back healthy, and I just think he's a better team. So, so are where are we voting here, guys? I mean, I, I know you guys are going to move the Leafs down. 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 I think it's still the appropriate spot for them. Like, Leafs are a really good team. It's not, like, crazy to say, like, oh, like, because then they're, they're stacked enough where it's, like, it could make a final. Absolutely. But No, I'm just hating on the Stars. Like, I'm yeah, like, no, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All no, the way. Uh, yeah. I think if you took any of those top seven teams that we had and stuck them in cup favorites, I think you can make an argument for all of them. For sure. That's what Except makes it so stars, hard. Like, really. <laughs> no, I, we, think yeah. the, I think the stars are actually one of the, like, they belong. They, they definitely, they belong. you could definitely make an argument for the stars. They have a very good team. You can't do it. Move on to the next team. Who's got the Bruins? <laughs> Who's got the like Bruins? Thank you of the Bruins. Yeah. Um, it, uh, Bruins! Uh, Whoa. Oh, this is, oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is. I don't know what that was. <laughs> this is a very interesting one. Um, obviously, they've lost some great players. You know what though? Like I, I just still feel like the Bruins are gonna. Their centers are not good, but I just still feel like they're gonna find a way to make the playoffs. I guess we could put them in wild card fight. Um, but like, I still feel like that playoffs likely category, I feel like they still have some very good pieces on that team that'll get them to where they need to be. And they've got good goalies. I'd be fine with seeing them in playoffs likely, but I feel like you guys are going to want a wild card fight. Choose your category. Don't cough that. <laughs> Choose your what? category. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to do... I'm gonna do wild card fight, I guess. I feel like, I but I but I do feel like they will make a wild card spot. I keep them there. I got no arguments okay. with that. Yeah, I, I pretty much have them battling it out with the Islanders. As I know, I already said that, but like I, I think like those are the two teams that I have, and I know f- people feel like, well, I don't know, I won't get ahead of it, but those are the two teams that I think are gonna be battling it out for that final wild card spot. Which so I think you did that perfect. What what about Pittsburgh? Uh... Like they'll be they are ish, but I think Islanders and Bruins ahead of them. Yeah, they're Sabers. Gonna be, they're gonna be a team to watch this year for sure. All right, the Sabers. I mean, like, look, like, the hype on them very nice that it's it's very high. Oh, no, 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 right? no, no. I mean, I got all thing. It's very nice that the hype on them is is very high. People are very excited because they're just fun to watch. Period. Yep. Um, and again, the top six, electric. Just fun to watch, but also just like deep. 
Uh, the fact Zach Benson, by the way, you got to obviously watch yeah. a ton of him. Made makes the team. the team. Probably gonna Love get some that. decent minutes too, because like everything they're saying about him is like he just does everything the right way. Did some make that. it? Uh, he's it? hurt right now, I yeah. think. Oh, he's he short. Yeah. He's got a short. Him and Jack Quinn are hurt, but yes. like it just goes to show they've got so much yeah. talent. Quinn, so and Quinn will be out until like all the way because yeah. the Achilles thing, which is pretty awful. But either way, uh, they still have depth, and they score a ton of goals. I didn't even realize that last year they were top five and five on five goals. Like they, They're good. They're really good. And again, I believe in Levy, and I definitely love what they have defensively. Um, It'd be cool to see Owen Power even step it up another level in Dalene. I know maybe some of you guys might even pick him for a little cheeky mm, Norris pick. I love it. Um, and yet, like, they still ship a ton of goals, and they still are pretty young. And I feel like they're hovering with that hype between, like, a playoffs likely and a wild card fight. That's probably where, like, most people who are being reasonable – that's probably where their conversation goes. And if their season just goes awful, then sure, they couldn't make the playoffs. But that's anyway. Are I'm putting them on pl- real oh, say it. I'm doing it and I'm putting them playoffs likely. Yeah! yeah! Let's go. I love, I love it. it. I'm in. Same. I, I have no argument. Yeah. I'd lo- you know, you'd love to see. It. I love their forwards. Top to bottom, their forward group is so much fun. I think the one guy that like doesn't get top so first of all, we talked about box office a couple seasons ago and we always like joke about it now. Tage Thompson, I think, is unquestionably box the office. most Dude. box office player in the NHL because every goal he scores is like he kind of uh, he's so big. Really? The only thing, the only athlete that I can think of when I think of him is like it kind of reminds me of like a Hallen thing, where like when someone who's that yeah. size doing what like again on offensive side of things, you're just like, how is this possible? And it looks way cooler when someone's just an absolute kind of like giraffe. The Kevin Durant, yeah, yeah, Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 you're just like what exactly, yeah. yeah. Imagine there was now like a new wave of like six, eight, six I guys know, that right? came in and were just yeah. had that's the new trend. That would be so cool. But also Dylan Cousins, I think I was gonna like, bring him up. He's too. so wow. good. The workhorse and, and, from Whitehorse. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he, I feel like he kind of goes under the radar sometimes. Yeah, and yeah. Like even great like, deal for him, man. Seriously, Crazy man. With I, I, yeah. So I, I love the Sabers. I love that you put them there. I, I. Uh, I'm very high on them. I'm into them. It, it'd be cool to see. And, and I hope it, you guys are right. I'm yeah. very into the Sabres too, but doesn't sound like that, it. No, there's just some question marks on the team. No, like, I will say they, they got to prove in the net. Like if it doesn't work out with, with like Levy, or I will say it's like an average of like there are an average year over year of like four new playoff teams every year. And like looking at our list, we don't really have that many kind of new ones in the playoffs, likely an above category. Buffalo is the first one that didn't make it last year that is in the playoffs likely or above. So and we have a, we have a couple in the wild card fight, but like year over year, there are teams that just don't make it. So they're, they're a good bet. It's like a huge, it is another one. Coming it up it is a question mark. For them. Who knows? Ottawa senators. Who knows? Ottawa senators. I've got Ottawa. I'm, I'm having a hard time being as excited about them as Buffalo, just because of the Pinto and the Norris uncertainty. Yeah. Um, well, it sounds like Pinto is getting in now because okay. of, uh, like I, I don't remember who's – there was something about an injury that has allowed them to, like, pretty much fit him in now. I thought Pinto's okay. having I – I thought he's having, like, there's some contract issues. Yeah, they haven't signed him yet. Like, yeah. at the at the time of this, like – or at least that I haven't seen, we can get our fact checker on it. Yeah, no. Uh, if, <laughs> has, has it been signed? Has it been signed. <laughs> um, which – it's a top six guy. Um, yeah. And then Josh Norris, like, we don't know when he's going That's to play. Which so is the sad. one. And it sounds like the injury is kind of just like, like, I think uh, their their head coach was talking about it. And he was just like, I'm waiting for the trainers to give me the go ahead that he's good to go. And it's like. And he, that, like, comes out for one's... practice yeah. and skates with them and stuff. Yeah. But, like, he's like, just... he's skating full speed. Like, he's. But... I feel so bad for him. I do, too, because he's awesome awesome guy but just an even better player yeah you guys like have met they, they went and he's did amazing Sen's media day and like like chatted with love a bunch him and yeah love him um and just looking at their pieces like i love stutzla he's he's like a 40 goal 100 point guy this year i think um jake sanderson shabbat like love those two their top six you could argue is one of the best top sixes in hockey but without josh norris sure. that second center spot is yeah it's like Ridley Grieg playing it right now, which it, that looks a little different than when Josh Norris is playing it. And so I, I, if they were healthy, I'd put him in playoffs likely, but I'm going to put him in wild card fight. Also, someone made a point that I completely glossed over because of Eric Johnson's age. But yeah, the Sabres have three first overall defensemen. They do. Eric That's, Johnson, yeah, buddy. That is cool. Eric Johnson. <laughs> yeah. They do have an insane top nine. Like, I'm, I, hey. Chickering is, is on D as well. Like, I, 
I love this team. I'd just feel better about them if I knew that they'd be healthy with Josh Norris. Yeah, and, like, I, I don't know. Like, even Batherson, I, I know I, I was big on Batherson for a long time. He did not do enough last year, I felt like. Yeah. But Love the Tarasenko signing. Like, the, you're not expecting him Guy's to be. He's playing third line. I know, which is, like, a little weird, too, in itself. But, like, it's great depth. I like that they bought into Matthew Joseph after, like, there was, like, rumors that they might try and move him. Yeah, he's a really good player, too. Yeah. It's a weird, weird rumor there. But. I just like, I, I like Buffalo's collection of players, I think, a little more than I do Ottawa's. Which is and, the difference and right now. I, and I agree with you on the injury thing. Like, I think if Josh Norris is there, that changes. All right. All right. Next team? Florida. I didn't give that to you. Oh. Uh, Florida. Let me see where I had them in my playoff thing. Yeah. I need to go playoffs likely. I just think uh, they're just a good team. Like, I know they have some pretty serious injuries with, like, Montour and Ekblad out for a little while. Um, Sam Bennett's, I know, starting the year hurt. But, like, in in terms of how I picture the Atlantic going, I think it's going to go Leafs, Lightning, Panthers, Sabres. And I... I just think they're a really good team. I know, like, I feel like people are starting to like kind of pick them to not make. Oh, I guess. Wait, are you guys shocked? I didn't put them in cream of the crop. No, I was gonna suggest wild card fight. Me yeah, too. So that that feels a little injuries. nuts to me. They but... just made it in last year, though. Yeah, healthy. Like they made it in by one point. That that doesn't surprise yeah. me, just because like you were the highest on Kachuk when we did our top twenty five players. And I've definitely heard you guys just slamming the Panthers for the last couple of weeks as far as, like, where you think they'll regress. We're not slamming, but, like, the, the injuries Slander! Are, I have not done The that. injuries are a concern. I have like, done that Montour, <laughs> You Montour did. We were talking Ekblad, fantasy stuff. Montour and Ekblad being out for, like, who knows when. Like, the timeline is November to January. Anywhere in between then. Those are two of your best defensemen. Yeah. Got, the, the, uh, our and, point- Bobro- and, like, are we sold on Bobrovsky? No. <laughs> is Pock sold on Bobrovsky? This what do you mean? Stabbed in the Zeger zone for like 20 minutes waiting to get a word in. He's the number one cop on the force. Of course I'm sold on Bobrovsky. Come on. <laughs> nah. What do you think we're doing over here if we're not sold on Bobrovsky? Yeah, he stuff? should be sold on him. If, 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 all that matters is if you've done well in the playoffs one time. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> he did. He, he, Ottinger was still good in many games last year. He had it, Yeah, I get it. There's games where he didn't do well. All yeah. that matters is if you had a good series. He did. In the wild one, he I had know. back. Yeah, okay. So you gotta no, have series a bunch. Then. Plural. Are we moving Florida down? No. No. Like I look, I look roster wise, and I'm like, ah, I think the I think the Sens are better than the Panthers right now in terms of their roster. Wait, it's Ooh, wait, wait, I, I, certainly I like that. I think yeah. you're underrating some of Florida's players. Like again, like you had Barkov in top twenty five. So Barkov and Kachuk on two different lines there with like Verhage, who's just Verhage's really to be good. a horse. Yeah. Um, when Sam Bennett comes back, he's been great for them. I think, like, who, who else have we got? They got Evan Rodriguez in the offseason, which I think was a great pickup. They've got Lundell, Reinhardt. Um, they, they have a very good team still. Like, I, I don't – I personally still think they'll be fine. I don't think – again, like, I don't think they're going to be near the President's Trophy, and I think they'll be closer to Buffalo than they will be to the Lightning. But I still think they come third in that division. Do we have them ranked, by the way, in the way that they appear in, in like, playoffs likely, for example? No. No, we, we can. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. That would be. Because, to be fair, again, like, because when you stare at them all at the same time, that's when you're like, oh, yeah, okay, this looks weirder. Like, the Sabres believe in them a lot, but, like, that's a pretty good group like of Like, Sabres next them. to the yeah, Rangers. Like, <laughs> and the Lightning. Nuts. It's optimistic, to say the least. Anyways. But, hey, we, we're here you, for you fun. You got to make some bold calls We're here sometimes. for fun. Who's got Detroit. I got Detroit. Um, you know what? Detroit made a ton of off-season moves, and they definitely are better than they were last year. I'm not going to say they're playoff likely, but I do think that they'll be in a fight for a wild card spot. Like I, 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 I do think that their roster is a lot better than it was last year. Um, but I like. They're still kind of middle of the middle of the pack for me. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I, mm-hmm. yeah, I think it's, yeah, yeah, I think they're <laughs> a little worse than the Senators. Yeah, 
Heiser retirement plan is crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesse goes, uh, uh, that we got, we're going back to the Zeger zone for this last one. Oh. Yeah. This, so yeah, we have the Habs left and we have a resident Habs fan. I am. Thomas. I am going to take care of the Habs. Um, just put them where they belong. Sounds so sad. Yeah. Right. Them, I, I, I think it, this is one of the easiest teams to rank. I think they're in the bad, but not bad enough. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm kind of into the future of the core, but I just think I s- need to see a lot more. They got like 10 players uh, below the age of 23 this year. So they are going to be a young team. There's going to be a lot of growing pains, but I just think they're still like miles and miles behind like the best teams in the East. And it's it's like the, the teams we have, like we're talking about the Sabres, how loaded they are, and we're not 100% sure that they're going to make the playoffs. The Habs got a long way to go. I don't think they'll be bad enough to, to have a top pick, though. They're kind of in, in no man's land right now. How about the call field? You said, what was your over-under on the goals? I, I think he's listed at like 32 and a half. I think, going I, I think he's going to score 45 goals this year, maybe even 50. Okay. He's got 48 wow. goals in, in the 84 games since St. Louis taken over. I think he's one of the best scorers in the NHL. I think his contract was a bargain. Um, but after that, it's just like there's, there's nobody really else that's going to push the offense forward. We, we removed a category called fun but bad because of how terribly confusing it was for not only us ranking it, but also the people watching to be like, what, why is they're bad? Are they really that fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, but like, they do feel like a team in, in that way where like they've got some fun pieces. You'll probably enjoy watching them, but like, yeah, they're not doing anything. Yeah, and I mean the Jesse Jets counter unfortunately ends at nine. As wow! Well. Never hit double digits. Never wow. hit double digits. Wow. Double digits. Yeah, I'm a, I, I've grown, guys. Way to go, man. I've grown. I'm proud of you. I've grown. Thank you. He proud didn't even you. dead. Fi- oh, <laughs> he did. <laughs> I was waiting. Yeah. Uh, That's okay. our tier list. Does anybody? <laughs> I don't have. Yeah, like what? Well, actually, is it? No, I do have one massive one. I guess. Are we yeah. doing the last second voting? Like, I mean, are we. Sh- I mean, did you rank it? Did you do what you needed to do? Eh, it's fine. Anyways, I would love to get. The abs in, or the Oilers. Yeah, no, you definitely don't the want them in there. You don't want the stars and cups favorites. <laughs> Anyone but the stars and cup favorites. Yeah. Every every year I gotta hate one team. I mean, I'd vote for the abs because I'm an abs fan, but and but you didn't put them there. I didn't put them there because I I just feel like the stars are really deep. Yeah, I'm not gonna be like heartbroken if you guys don't have the stars there, but that's yeah, I won't either. Them. Uh, you know, look, I, 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 I like the Avs. They're kind of my team that I'd stick in the top. Sounds I, like you, Corin. Looks I like agree. He's gonna have. Yeah. He's gonna say he's got <laughs> the right, most so to work Block gets now. to decide then because it's. Oh two yeah, two. It's lo- no, that's three. I don't know how I, I got this you power. Wouldn't, you wouldn't put them there. The Avs. Yeah. Got I, favorite. No, I, I, just, I'm gonna stick with. I didn't place Ooh. them there at the beginning, so it's two v two. So it is so up to pot. It's up to pot. Between the stars and the Avalanche. Stars and the Avs. I, I'm into the ceiling of the stars, but I, I think if, if you're going to have multiple teams, like Vegas just won the cup. Like, they've proven as well. But I'm not going to throw another team in there. Between no, the, no, we're not, we're not throwing another team. Yeah. We're looking to move Dallas down and yeah. Colorado up. I, I'm keeping the stars at the top. If, yes. if, it's between, if it's between the two of them, I'm I'm more into the ceiling of the stars than, a, than I am I with understand. the Avalanche. Plus, like, I, I mean, Landis Cog is, like, such a big piece. That uncertainty is kind of scaring me with the Avalanche. It scares the crap out of me yeah. as an Avs fan. They got a lot of new pieces where I think the stars are more so like coming into their own as a team um like robertson's just gonna get better heiskin in one of the best friends in the league and i know corwin thinks jake ottinger's like a beer league level goalie yeah, but no, like what's going on <laughs> he's, he's pretty amazing yeah, so like, i give me the start I, I get you being like because you don't like goalies whatever and i get that you're saying he's being overhyped but like he seems like you really aren't into him it's not i think he's average I think he's an average goalie in the NHL, which is an incredible feat for any athlete. I'm not saying yeah, well, he's we're, like a we're not, bad we're beer league Here's goalie. The... <laughs> I'm saying, that, yeah, word for word, beer league goalie. I think you he, said that. I, I have it written. I have it written down. Just take on beer. Beer. my beer league e division. He's like, I'm giving pep talks. Honestly, I wouldn't because I know he wouldn't show up, and I know yeah. Vince has one of the greatest attendance records in beer league history. So I would not replace him for Jake. Joke C- Corin would be out there giving <laughs> pep talks to Jake Ottinger, be like, buddy, like, don't worry, we trust you out here. <laughs> I would not trust. So there are, there are 15 better goalies than Ottinger. Anyways. I didn't say it's 15. Let's get well, to that though. If he's average, yeah. he's average. No, no, average be like, I'd say middle of the pack, right? Yeah. No. Smack like, dab I mean, in the I middle, baby. Average is probably between like six and 25. 
That is like the that's most high, insane yeah. that's a weird range. That feels arbitrary. For average. <laughs> yeah. it, it, but anyway, that's like almost twenty. Yeah, that's way too. Yeah. But anyways, let, let, there's not. I've always said this. There's not much of a separation between. Speaking of the best in every category, because we gotta wrap this up. <laughs> uh, we got our awards though, and we you know we have our little cheeky picks and see who we we have uh, for winning the biggest awards on the year. Who wants to start us out? I'll Anyone? start, sure. Luca is going to start us out. Okay. Okay, Luca, in the order. Uh, uh, what are we starting yeah, with? You know, why don't we go ahead and start with Norris? Kale McCarr. He's healthy. He's going to be back on that Norris crown. Um, I'm, I honestly think like he can score 30 goals and get 100 points and do what Eric Carlson did last year if he has a fully healthy season. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and solve our Vesna debate? Oh, wow. Okay, we're just going to go one by one. Um, this one's a wild one, Georgiev, because I think the Avs are going to be really good. So I, I think he was really, really good last year. He's going to play the majority of the games. He'll have some good stats. Okay, uh, let's go Calder. Logan Cooley. I'm all in on someone not Bedard, and if it's not Bedard, then it's Cooley. Okay. Uh, Art Ross. McDavid. Yeah. Math or Rocket? Why is it Matthews? <laughs> Matthew. Wow! Um, rename the trophy. Rename Whoops. the trophy. I'm gonna go Kirill the Thrill. I think he's Ooh, gonna score a ton a of goals this year. Fun pick. And Hart. Hart. Jack Hughes. Because I think the Devils Whoa. are gonna win the President's Trophy, and he is going to have like a hundred plus points and just be unbelievable. NHL would love that if that happened. Yep. Uh, okay, Corwin, your turn. Uh, Norris. Darlene. Okay. Oh, just reason? No, I don't know. I, I think he's amazing. I think he'll, uh, he was already almost at a point per game last year. I think he is the silkiest defenseman in the league. And uh, I just think if the, if the Sabres st- take a step forward, I think he's a big part of that. I think their power play goes up another notch this year. He racks up more points. And uh, just – He was my second trophy. pick. He was right. my second pick for Norris. Vesna? Vesna. I don't even know if this word matters from you. <laughs> I'm to, oh, Sorokin. Sorokin. Okay. Valimaki. Yeah. Uh, no, no. That, I, I've always said the top goalies are the top goalies. Everyone else okay. cares. Ooh, Lady Cal- Bing would have been fun without Bird. Cal- Calder. Calder, Bedard. The Selkie. Yeah. Uh, Art Ross. Uh, McDavid and then Hart McDavid, too. Just And like, Rocket? Uh, Rocket Matthews. Okay. Jesse, your turn. Norris. Kale and Makar. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, Vesna. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going with Jake Onger. <laughs> yes. That Beerly, was my pick. Beer league. No way, really? It was. I That's swear. Amazing. I was fuck. I it was. I feel, like, I feel like Dallas is, yeah, Dallas would be a great team, and I do think he's a great goalie, and he's got a good decor in front of him, and the stars are the stars are aligning. Nice. Honestly, the stars glazing is crazy. Norris. Oh, yeah. Uh, Norris, uh, did I do Norris? Right? Oh, sorry, uh, Calder, Calder. Uh, Calder, I'm going with Connor Bedard, because uh, he's the man. Okay, uh, Art Ross? Uh, Connor McJesus. Rocket? Connor McJesus. And Hart? Connor McJesus. Uh, and then for me then, I'll just go Norris, going high skin in, which perhaps <laughs> Corey's just gonna hate Just saw the things. wound right now. Yeah, just more of those. <laughs> um... Then Vezina, I'm going Ottinger. I had that in there before as well. That's crazy. Uh, Calder, I'm going Bedard. That's just like the fun pick. I hope it does just happen. Uh, Art Ross, McDavid, uh, Hart, McDavid, and Rocket, because I slipped on it. I went Matthews. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's everything. That's all our picks for how we think everyone's going to do awards and teams. Make it's sure to clip in. some of these when we, when oh, yeah. we really want to come back. There was one year where... Actually, wasn't it Dallas that clipped you in a video? I found them? out how that happened. Yeah, it was like yeah. game day skate. The irony of that now, for yeah. sure. Hope clip this then. Yeah, okay. yeah great, we're all in on you, Dallas. You're they have a great no, social team. No, we are team. not. No, we can agree their social team is great. Yeah, so one of the best, and they're in arena. There, there's a person who used to work for T. There's a person who used to work for TSN who like helps him with like their works uh, for them, like their production. And so I think he looks for TSN stuff, and it just happened to be one of the things he came across. Like, this boy <laughs> doubting them. Anyways, here here's some clips. The star, I guarantee the stars will not win the Stanley Cup this year. Give him a clip. Jake Ottinger might lose his job. 
<laughs> that's a well, that's a great way to end this. Like stars. Who is the cliff. backup now? Give some clues. Yeah, give give it. Give. Jason Robertson is gonna win the heart. He's gonna score seventy, <laughs> and he's gonna get one hundred and thirty points. <laughs> um, Joe Pavelski is gonna win his first Stanley Cup. Yeah, wow. Wow. I like that's that one. Nice also, and awesome. yeah, and he's yeah. also just amazing. He's the man, and he looks like Sam. Yeah. <laughs> hey Sam, <laughs> get in the secret zone. <laughs> I, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Ottinger punched Corwin in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll box Jake's off. Jake's off. Also, I feel like boxing? I feel like we're gonna address this. I know we're adding it at the end, but all the comments are saying like, "How do you not have like more teams?" There's only one cup favorite, so that's why that's it. there's only we, we pick one, one cup favorite. That's, like, that's why New Jersey is not on that level. It would be cowardly to do anything else. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I, I saw a lot of those comments. So just wanted to address that. That's why we don't have multiple teams in there. Thank hey, you to everyone in the live chat, by the way. Too. Yes. So fun hanging out. Uh, shout out again. I think ACC is long gone. Noticed I had an, a Western New York skate shop. New Welcome so shout out to Seasons, Western New York. The official York. skate shop. Mark Western New York. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Later. <laughs>